Now there's three cats over here. A splash in the middle. And Boo here. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 9.22 a.m. Splash is in the front window. I don't know what he's looking at. Someone knocked down the small cat tower again. This time it did not make the loud bang it made last time. Good morning, Stella. Stella, Splash, and Simba were on free roam last night. And Stella jumped on my bed this morning and she got her pets. Right, Stella? You got your pets? Boo is in his cat tower in his room. And he's grooming himself. He's a very happy boy. Simba's in the kitchen waiting for his wheatgrass. Here comes Stella. Hello, Stella. You gonna eat your wheatgrass or you're not interested today? Boo just jumped off of his cat tower. You done? This is where Simba goes. The boys love being by Boo's door. They really want to be friends with Boo. Like they want to have another playmate. And yesterday was really encouraging with Boo to be in the harness and uh, all of them to have crunchies together on the rug without anyone being in a crate or anything. And that went really well. I just wish it didn't happen so late at night, um, but I got a really good night's sleep, and hopefully today um, we could have more of that. We'll see what happens. Good girl, Stella, you're done. She only scratched around for like less than a minute. That was good. Did you see her scratch the walls? Today, Boo is getting his Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites with water and all that stuff that I sprinkled on top, which he's really enjoying. Uh, basically, that's all the crumbs that are left from the freeze-dried raw bites in their package. Like after you give the cats all of the bites out of the package there's like all this I guess it's like crumbs it's the best way I could describe it and um, they're basically just kind of like crushed up bits and um, you can use them to top off cat food and Boo really likes them and I hope and I do have to say that they smell really good so that is what Boo is having for breakfast and I am going to be putting a lot more water into his food just because I feel like he has not been drinking enough water lately. And I don't know if you guys can see that also but those uh, freeze dried uh, crumbs they're making like a chicken broth in there because it's freeze dried chicken bites and as they're kind of reconstituting with the water it's looking like a chicken broth. And so these are the rest of the crumbs from the bottom of this bag. It's the uh, Instinct Raw Boost Mixers. So these are the crumbs. I would like to perform a little experiment with these crumbs. What I am going to do is add some water and let these sit and reconstitute and see if the cats then enjoy that as like a chicken broth. Um, the rep from uh, Nature's Variety says you can reconstitute these freeze-dried raw bites by soaking them in water. 
um, sometimes cast it like that. I'm gonna see how well it works with the crumbs. So the ingredients on here are chicken, including ground chicken bone, chicken liver, pumpkin seeds, carrots, apples, butternut squash, turkey liver, turkey heart, flaxseed, Montmorillonite clay, dried kelp, broccoli, mixed cough rolls, apple cider vinegar, salmon oil, rosemary extract, blueberries, and dried chicory root. Love all of those ingredients. I mean, it is just so packed uh, with nutrients, flavonoids, and phytochemicals. Um, it's amazing. So let's add some water to this and let's see what happens. This is what it looks like. All of the crumbs have kind of risen to the top of the water and um, I can't stir them in. Um, they don't easily dissolve like that, but they should reconstitute. And so let's see what happens. Right now it is 9.54 a.m. I am going to put this over to the side. I'll put a cover on it and we'll come back in a few hours and see what's going on. It is 46 degrees out. I'm so happy. I came outside to give Hydrox some food. Both of these bowls are basically empty. There's a dry feeder. No dry food. Today the bowls finally got washed. And it's about 46 degrees here, so it's about 20 degree difference. 12.26 p.m. and look at the patio. Look, the snow's gone. I'm so happy. And look at this, somebody has been using the shelter. Do you see how there's like that plush blanket kind of peeking out? Yep. Someone's been using the shelter because I don't remember seeing it like that. Now the whole tub itself is just kind of like pushed over. That could be because Hydrox walks kind of like behind the tub, between the tub and the house. So he could have pushed it over, but that's interesting. The thermometer inside the shelter says it's about 74 degrees in there. It's still about 48 degrees on this one. So it's about a 26 degree difference. So I'm upstairs right now and I'm getting some stuff done around the house and I have the live stream of the cats downstairs on the uh, TV in the living room. So it's so funny. So here I am upstairs getting stuff done, but I can keep an eye on what's going on downstairs with the cats. So here is the uh, freeze dried crumbs that have been soaking in water for a few hours now. And I just put it down for Boo to taste, but he, he looks like he doesn't want any. It's about 4 p.m. right now, and I just heard the automatic feeder go off. So that's good because I have been wondering if it has been going off or if there have been problems with it. And right now, I believe Hydrox is actually eating from it. I mean, he was eating from it like a minute ago when I looked out the window and I said, let me go find my camera. The problem is, I couldn't find my camera, and the one that I'm using now is kind of like my secondary camera. Um, that's the problem with these small black cameras. They get misplaced so easy. I wish someone made cameras that were like bright red or like neon orange because they're so much easier to find. I'm just about to go outside and feed Hydrox. This is a little bit of Hydrox's food. I let Boo have a taste. He eats very nicely out of a spoon now. He's gotten so much better about not scratching things and people. <laughs> okay, boo. That's it. That's it. You gonna lick the spoon? You wanna lick it? You gonna lick it clean? Okay, lick it clean. Okay, yeah, you want the other side? No? Okay. It's about 5.30 right now. I love that the days are getting longer. I just gave Hydrox half a can of wet food because I saw him eating dry food not too long ago. There is still dry food in the bowl. Right now, it is about 38 degrees. The thermometer on the side of the cat shelter says it is about 48 degrees in there. It is 6.25 p.m. right now. And uh, the downstairs cats are all sleeping in their beds all in a row on the sofa and there's the live stream going on and right now I still have it on the TV upstairs 
if I'm curious as to what they're doing, I just walk in the room and look at the screen. So this is what they've been doing for the last several hours. They've been shifting around a little bit and I was going to feed them maybe like an hour ago and I saw they were sleeping so nicely. So I said, well, I'll just wait. And right now it's almost 6.30 and um, I'm just going to wait a little while longer. A lot of times they don't eat until 7.30, 8 o'clock anyway. And here's Boo. Boo's been hanging out in the uh, cat tower in the front window. And that's the uh, Dyson vacuum. I've been doing some vacuuming. And um, Boo's been a very good boy. He's not eating yet either. He's going to eat the same time that the other cats eat. Boo ate all of his breakfast. All of it. There's nothing left. Okay, I have this other bag of mixer dust. And um, I just put it on top of his dinner because he seemed to enjoy it on his breakfast so much. I just brought the stuffed rat into Boo's room. What do you guys think he's going to do with it? What is it, Boo? It was downstairs with the other cats. They've been playing with it. What is it, Pooh? Is it a rat? Is it a rat? You go play with the rat? Like the tail? Stella likes the tail. Or you want me to hang it like that? Like that? It's too big for you? You like the smaller rats? So what I would like to do right now is put the harness on Boo and then kind of let him mingle with the other cats. But actually, what I should really do right now is because the other cats just came up upstairs I'm going to put a few gates in Boo's door, let him play with the rat, put the gates up, let the cats get used to the idea, and then in a little while after I do some late cleanup, then um, I'll let Boo out with the harness on and we'll see what happens today. This is what Boo did to his tinsel fish. The, uh, the feathers are gone. I have no idea where they went. For all I know, he could have eaten them. There's uh, the, the two eyes are still on it. And um, it ends up that the tinsel is really just like this tinsel ribbon that's like wrapped around this core. And the core is um, it's like a plastic core. Yeah, it's like a plastic core. So, you know, there's no catnip on this at all. And, uh, but Boo enjoyed it. Look, he likes playing with that. But he loves his zebra. This is a squeaky zebra. He loves that. That's the toy he got like when he first came inside. That time he had his leg uh, fixed at the vet. He just hid under the day bed. He really does not like the rat. I put bird videos on for Simba to watch. It is 9.30 p.m. Boo let me put the harness on him. It was really easy to put the harness on him. Either I'm getting better at it, or he's getting better at letting me put it on him. Anyway, um, I'm going to take the gates off of his room and let him have free room with the other cats. Stella's sitting in the hallway right now, kind of waiting on him. I'm wiggling the crunchies in the living room. I'm waiting for Boo to come out. Come on, Boo. Okay, here's Boo. Here's Simba. It looked like Simba was gonna greet Boo, and then Simba thought the better of it. I'm gonna move that vacuum out of the way, although it looks like Simba uh, likes it as like a protective thing, so. There, I give Boo some crunchies. I'm giving Simba some crunchies. Eat your crunchies, I just gave Splash some crunchies, but Splash is over by the door. Here he comes. Here comes Splash. Here. There goes Simba. 
to eat Splash's Crunchy. They're getting two little crunchies. Two little crunchies. I don't know where Stella is. Stella! Stella! Now these crunchies are the, uh, I think it's the Blue Wilderness dry food. So they're not treats, they're, it's actually just dry cat food. Notice Boo's doing really good, he's not scratching me. And I'm like throwing treats at Splash and Boo's not going after them. He's like looking at what they're doing, but he's not going after them. Boo seems pretty happy right now. I'm very happy with Boo's manners right now. Like he's being a perfect gentleman. I think I hear Stella in the dining room. Or it could just be that the heat kicked on and it's just like moving something. So they're all here sitting on the rug eating their crunchies. It's been like five minutes of me giving them crunchies right now. They're only getting two of the crunchies at a time. Okay. I put that on because I thought maybe they'd like to play with it, but what's going on is Boo is looking for more crunchies, and uh, Simba doesn't like that. I don't know if you saw Simba raise his paw. So here's what just happened. Uh, Boo was hanging out in the living room with Simba and Splash. And I thought, well, I think all the cats are upstairs. So let me pick up Boo and let me bring him downstairs and let him have some time to explore the downstairs. So I pick him up and I carry him through the kitchen and Stella was sitting in the door to the kitchen like she's sitting in the mat so i carried him thinking she's going to either run into the dining room 
were downstairs, but she didn't. She just like stood there. And, um, and then she looked like she wanted to go downstairs. And I was already on the stairs holding Boo and he was starting to wiggle like he wanted to get out. So, um, hey, what's going on here, guys? So then I ended up just turning around with him and uh, bringing him back up. Boo. I don't know why Simba's trying to use his litter box. I don't know if this is like a uh, power thing or what. Boo! I just put his leash on just in case. He looked like he was gonna jump. I hope Simba's not making a stinky. Simba's growling. I think Simba's trying to say that Simba wants this room back. Poor Boo. He's like, who are these crazy people? It looks like he didn't even do anything. I don't see... Any pee or poop. What was that about, Simba? I have Stella and Boo eating crunchies together. Stella's been growling. And uh, Simba and Splash are a few feet away. But Stella was uh, sitting in the kitchen and uh, she was just sitting there, so I picked her up and I brought her into Boo's doorway and I was just holding her. And I was like, Stella, do you see Boo? you see Boo? And um, I put her down. She growled a few times and walked away. And uh, Boo was in his room just relaxing. And uh, Stella was here, so I, was, I wanted to sneak her some crunchies, you know. But there's no sneaking anything in this house when it comes to cats because I try to sneak Stella crunchies. And Boo comes running out of his room. So, Stella's right there. I'll give Boo some crunchies. They could both eat their crunchies. Eat your crunchies, Stella. She's growling. Now she's not. Like, she growls and she stops. She growls and she stops. Like, Boo has his back to her. And now she's going to eat a little bit, maybe not. But Boo eats his crunchies so fast, it's like I can't even keep up with him. Stella, are you growling? It's like Boo don't care. All Boo cares about is eating his crunchies. Stella, eat your crunchies. I just gave Stella a few pets on the head and now she's eating her crunchies. Maybe it's a jealousy issue with Stella. Maybe that's what it is more than anything. I just gave Stella some crunchies over here. She's a bit farther away from Boo. She's maybe like four feet away from him. Now she's eating her crunchies. Boo's eating his crunchies. Splash has decided he's going to walk over and eat the crunchies that Stella left on the rug. So here's Boo, here's Splash, and there's Stella. And Boo, I mean, 
He's eating so much. Stella's eating her crunchies. Boo is eating his crunchies. What I find interesting is that Boo has moved over to these leftover crunchies, but he hasn't even touched one yet. Like, he's just kind of figuring out if it's safe to touch them or not, because Stella's growling from a few feet away. I just gave him some more crunchies, and he jumped on top of these, so uh, he definitely wants crunchies. He's just contemplating those, because I guess he doesn't want to be attacked by Stella. I gave Stella some more crunchies also. There's Splash. Now Boo went over to eat the crunchies. I guess he figures Stella's eating the other crunchies, so she's preoccupied. Now I do want to point out that none of the cats got crunchies today at all. They had their breakfast, which was wet food, and then they had their dinner, which was wet food. And this is the only crunchies that they're getting, so I'm kind of holding back on crunchies. Let's use the crunchies as like training tools. Right, Boo? You didn't get any crunchies today. This is the only crunchies you're getting. And Boo's gotten a lot of crunchies right now. I just gave him crunchies a little bit closer to this, like, round thing. So Boo's, like, right there. And there's still his crunchies. I don't know if she's going to eat them. She might want to keep her distance from Boo. Okay, so right now I have them both eating on, like, opposite sides of this undercover mouse thing. See? See? So if the party platter is just like a little bit smaller than this. Let's say maybe six inches in diameter less than this. So, uh, hey, what's going on there? I should get those clickers. I guess Stella had enough crunchies because she walked away and she left them on the rug. So, I think Boo is at his fill of crunchies, and I have this toy here, so I've been just playing with him, and he's an audience. Simba's watching from the cat tower, Splash is watching from the other end of this play rug, and Stella is watching from near the front door. They're very interested in Boo, they're very curious about Boo. Now Stella's on her scratch and roll because she wants to play too. So here we are, all sitting in a circle. Boo. Me. Stella. Splash. And the whirly toy in the middle because we don't have a campfire, but we have a whirly toy. We're all staring at the whirly toy. Except for Stella, Stella's glaring at Boo. All four cats are on the play rug. I got these three on this side, and I got Boo on this side, and we're playing with toys. Now there's three cats over here. Splash in the middle, and Boo here. I think Splash wants to show his dad how brave he is. Look at this, look. Splash is gonna play near Boo. Okay, right now it's about 10.30 and everything's been going really well with like Boo playing and um, Simba playing and Splash playing. But here's the deal. Boo really enjoys playing by like jumping on cats and I could see him starting to like get antsy and uh, you know, think about jumping on the other cats. He hasn't done it, but Okay, so sure enough, what uh, I thought he looked like he wanted to do, he did. Splash was playing on the rug. The next thing I know, Boo goes and tries to jump on Splash. 
and I diverted Boo's attention by telling him not to do that, and um, Splash ran away. But Boo can move pretty fast in a harness. Right now he's in his combat crawl, but he looks like he's going after the cats again. Look at this. You going in your room, Boo? Come on. Come on, Simba. We're going to go eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Jump the fence. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Eight thirty five AM Some people say that cats don't remember things, but if that's the case, then why do they remember a toy that they haven't played with in months? You know how when you give them a new toy, it's all fresh and new and fun to play with, and then they get tired of it and go on to other things? That's the case with this toy. When he was outside, he loved it at first. Then I had to put it inside one of those play tents for him to uh, be interested in the toy. And uh, it has not had like batteries in it for quite some time. The batteries were dead. I just put new batteries in it the other day and look, he, does, he has no interest in it. So cats obviously remember I think it kind of disproves that cats don't remember things. I mean, Boo obviously remembers this toy, otherwise it would have that newness factor for him. And it doesn't. It doesn't have the newness factor for any of the other cats either. So just the fact that cats can be all excited when they get a new toy, and then if you take that toy away and give it back to them I would say 6 to 12 months later, they don't have that newness factor with the toy again. That means that they remember the toys. It means that they do remember things. And uh, we can't go buy catnip toys because obviously if you give them a catnip toy, they're going to be all excited. And then once the catnip wears off or is not as potent, they're not going to be as excited. Um, but I think with a lot of these interactive toys that are like non-catnip toys, I think that's a, you know, an experiment that proves cats do remember things. I'm petting Boo while he's in the uh, cat tower in the front window. I've been talking to him and telling him that he has to keep his feet on the ground and he has to keep his teeth in his mouth. Right, Boo? And that's how good boys play. You keep your feet on the ground except for when you're in a cat tower. Right? It's okay. Have you guys noticed that when cats do something silly, they get embarrassed? Did you see that? Like when you're playing with the cats and then they make like a weird jump or they fall onto something that they get all embarrassed. Have you noticed that? 9, 10 a.m. I put both of the electronic toys on for Boo. As I'm filming this, I'm thinking I need to move one of those cat it circuits over. Okay, now there's a whole lot of stuff going on here. There's the undercover mouse, there's that uh, feather whirl toy, and then we have the cat it circuit.
So something should be of interest to Boo. I mean, this is like a theme park for cats right now. And there are arches and scratch and rolls just out of the shot. Okay, so the plan for today is... Oh. <laughs> I started brushing Boo in the hallway just now, and um, when I start brushing him, he moves, and he always goes straight to his arch. He has like this thing where when I'm brushing him, he has to brush himself on an arch at the same time. Boo's funny like that. But uh, lately, he's really been enjoying his brushing. And I've been using it as a tool to get the harness off of him. Because when he's in the harness, if I start brushing him, then he kind of forgets about me taking the harness off of him. Otherwise, sometimes he uh, tries to bite my hand when I take the harness off. So the plan has been, Boo was on free roam all night. And he spent it pretty much in the cat towers, between the cat tower in his room and the cat tower in the living room. I have not given him his breakfast yet because what I want to do is when I give him his breakfast, uh, then he'll be in his room for the day. And the other cats will be upstairs on free roam and the gates will be in Boo's door. And that way, the other cats who have been downstairs for like most of the day the past two days because they've been laying in their beds they'll have the ability to look out the windows during the day and lay in the cat towers by the windows if they want that now boo has that in his room also he has the cat tower where he could look out the window he gets the daylight and um, they can all hang out by boo's door um, and so once i uh, feed boo and he's in his room then the other cats are on free roam and uh, they get the house to themselves today. I'll be out most of the day. And they should be back tonight. I don't know how late. But um, I'm going to give them dinner in the automatic feeders. I'm going to give them dry food and the uh, freeze-dried raw. Stella just climbed the fence. And Simba kind of hurdles them. I love seeing Stella climb the fence. I think it's good exercise for them to climb these fences because I'm not out climbing trees or anything, so I don't know. I think even after integration, I might use gates just because they like climbing them. I wish you could feel how soft and fluffy Stella is. Like her fur, do you guys see how thick her fur is? And it is so soft. Simba's fur is soft also, and it's fluffy, but it's not nearly as thick as Stella's. Like, Stella's fur, I mean, she has, like, a winter coat. And Simba, look how soft. He is so soft and fluffy. He's all fluff. I've never given these cats a bath, but I would be so curious as to like how tiny they are with wet fur. So I stepped over the gate and I'm going to leave the gate in. I'm going to let the cats climb out because I think it's good exercise. Come on Simba, we're going to go eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Jump the fence. I filled up all the automatic feeders with their dinner, which is the freeze-dried raw nuggets and dry food, because I don't have enough of the frozen raw bites to put in here, and the raw primal nuggets don't work. And after I close them up, I put a little bit of dry food in each one, and Stella has worked her way down the line and eaten the dry food out of all of them.
Hydrox is getting a whole can of food today. It's the Trader Joe's Ocean Fish Salmon and Rice Dinner. And Boo's not even getting a spoonful of this because our deal was broken yesterday when he jumped on Splash. The deal was, if he didn't jump on the cats, he'd get a little taste of whatever food I was opening for Hydrox. And he jumped on Splash yesterday, so no more tastes. Here's Hydrox. He's laying in the sun by the house. He most likely already ate dry food out of the feeder this morning. He's very content. He's not meowing for food or anything, but I'm giving him food anyway because I will be out the whole day. And there's Boo watching from his room. Right now it's 40 degrees out. I'm outside without a coat or anything because it just feels so warm compared to what we've had. The thermometer on the sunroom says it's 50 degrees in there, but it's still early and the sun really hasn't really hit this sunroom yet, so that should go up much higher today. I would think that would go way above 60, if not towards 70. Simba. 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 It is 10.51 p.m. I just got home and uh, this is what the cats did to their dinner. It looks like they barely touched it. And uh, this one and this one, it looks like they ate the uh, freeze-dried raw nuggets and maybe a little bit of the crunchies and this one doesn't even look like it was touched. And since it's almost 11 p.m. right now, I will not be giving them food. I would normally just be giving them crunchies and they have crunchies. So um, yeah, I don't have any raw food to frost it. I'll put uh, raw food out for their breakfast tomorrow and I'm not going to open a can. Maybe what I'll do is I'll open a tiny can and see if they eat it. The problem is they don't like canned food. So.
11.25 p.m. I'm in Boo's room. We're gonna play for a little while. The other cats are on free roam. So Boo ate all of his crunchies. His crunchy dinner is all gone. And he ate most of his breakfast. We're gonna play for a little while, then we're gonna go to bed, right, Boo? 11.37 p.m. Good night, Boo. Have a good night in your room. Good night, Simba. Good night, Splash. Good night, Stella. Splash is growling. Boom. What are we doing? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 8 a.m. Splash was hanging out near Boo's door. Boo is hanging out near Boo's door. Hello, Boo. Good morning. Simba's hanging out in the cat tower. Good morning, Stella. Stella would like to eat some breakfast, wouldn't you? Stella, would you like some breakfast? Stella, you want some food? Wanna eat or do you wanna play? Eat or play? I think Spl <laughs> Splash is a hairball, I think. Oh, he just threw up. I don't wanna scare him or anything. But it seems like he's definitely doing like a hairball cough. You guys missed some of it because I went to get some paper towels. But do you see what he's doing? He's coughing up and eating it. Like it's, he's not like spitting it out or anything. Which makes me think this is, they're getting too much dry food. Because of all the crunchies with the crunchy training. That's what I'm thinking. I gotta cut back on the dry food. See? I just saw the raccoon run from the woods across the street. He's in the neighbor's yard right now. Splash, are you feeling okay? Are you feeling okay, Splash? Are you? I'm wondering if it's the uh, Blue Wilderness dry food. The cats have not had hairball issues in the entire time that they've been inside at all. They've been on their raw food diet and the crunchies that they've been getting have been the nature's variety instinct crunchies. So maybe what I'll do is both cut down on crunchies just to see if that makes a difference because you know just the other day Stella was like coughing stuff up and now Splash is coughing stuff up and they've never done that in the entire year they've been inside. So. That's the only thing that has changed. Nothing else has changed other than the dry food. I gave them that small can of turkey cat food, uh, the Nature's Variety, um, limited ingredient cat food, and they did not touch it. It looks like they didn't want it at all. They ended up eating the dry food overnight. Well, most of the dry food, that one and that one, and there's half of this left. Today for breakfast, the cats are getting primal raw turkey nuggets, which they usually only get for dinner, but I ran out of the Nature's Variety Instinct 
raw bites. I was at the end of the bag. So they're getting the turkey nuggets, they're getting some raw bites. They're also getting um, a few squirts of the fish oil and they're getting water. I just spent some time petting Boo in his room and I'm setting up this Feather World toy for him. He is now on free roam because he was in his room all day yesterday and then last night also. So Boo is on free roam today. He'll get to look out the other windows in the house. The cats will be downstairs. Right now they're downstairs eating their breakfast. They have the downstairs window to look outside and I also open the back door. They can look out the back door. 10.23 a.m. This is Boo's new thing. I'm in my room trying to get ready for my day. And Boo likes to jump on the bed and watch me and just hang out here while I'm getting dressed and stuff. Right, Boo? You're a good boy, Boo. Having a nice day. He's purring. He's a very happy boy today. 10.56 a.m. and I just looked out the window and Hydrox is sitting on this chair. You can't see him now. Well, maybe you can. Can you see part of him? Yeah, there he is. He was sitting there grooming himself, which leads me to believe that he just ate dry food out of the feeder. I just opened a new bag of the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets, and these nuggets look really, really good. They're all just really clean in appearance with like nice edges and there's no smell coming out of this bag at all. First thing I did was stick my nose in it to smell it and take a really deep whiff and it smells fresh. This bag on the other hand is the last bag of the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets that I bought for the cats and uh, this bag has always had a more pungent odor but you know dealing with raw cat food for like a year now um, I'm used to um, differences and inconsistencies um, with the different batches and if this bag was really really rancid um, I would have returned it. I've done that at least once if not twice before. Um, not just with this product but also um, with the Instinct Raw also. Um, but I thought this one was still edible. I think some of the smell could just be like really bad freezer burn. Um, you can obviously see a difference between the light color on here and then the darker color on here. And then on these, these were always, like they did not have the clearly defined edges. Like here's another piece. They're kind of, they kind of look like maybe they were somewhat defrosted before and got re-squashed. Another piece. The rest of this bag, I'm actually going to toss. Um, or what I might do is... No, I'm just going to toss it. I'm not really happy uh, with the quality of it. And I'm really happy with the quality of this new bag. And this is what the cats are getting for dinner tonight. They're only getting these turkey nuggets because I don't have any of the Nature's Variety um, frozen raw food. It is 6.35 p.m. And this is what's left of Boo's breakfast. He barely ate any of it. That's not good. Boo, how come you didn't eat? Boo, how come you didn't eat your breakfast? What's the matter, Boo? Why didn't you eat your breakfast? I did not give him any crunchies for breakfast. I've been saving the crunchies. Boo, eat your breakfast. Don't you want to eat your breakfast? Okay, we're going to eat dinner now. I'll give you new food for dinner. New food for dinner. So for some reason, this arch is Boo's favorite arch. And uh, it's like broken. See how it's on its side? But Boo loves it like that for some reason. Do you see where it's like supposed to be in this cardboard? What are you doing, Boo? Do you see how like it he's knocked it over and it's worn like these really big grooves into the cardboard? Like it's supposed to just like stand up like that, but because he put so much pressure on it, it now goes in both directions. And I think he likes it better that way. I mean it's still it's still up, it's just not totally upright. Maybe he likes the angle of it better. I don't know, but he's funny like that. It's like that's what he did to it. Okay guys, you missed it, so Here's the wheat grass, and what I was going to do was put it on the landing so you could see how the cats run up the stairs for it. The problem is, I only got this far 
and the cats came like running up the stairs for it so you missed it next time I have to like put the camera on like way before I even touch the wheatgrass like how do they even know I'm gonna do that It's about 7.07 .07 p.m. right now. I am just about to head out for a little while and run a few errands. And this is Splash. He's hanging out near Boo's door. Okay, so that was interesting. Anyway, um, I'm heading out for a little while. Uh, Boo is on free roam today. I just put him in his room, put the gates up, and uh, there's a live stream going on right now. I was unable to put the live stream on earlier today because I had to be out early, um, but I just put it on now. And Simba is sitting in one of the cat towers. He's on the live stream as we speak. And um, I don't know where Stella is. I just gave Hydrox some food. And I'll be back in a little while. And, uh, yeah. We'll see how it goes. To me, it looks like Splash wants to play. It's 9.15 p.m. I just got back. Boo's been eating his dinner. Good boy, Boo. There has been a live stream going on for the past several hours, and I wanted to give a shout-out to Ron Bourget. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. For a very generous $50 super chat donation. Uh, thank you so much, Ron. I really appreciate that. Uh, it was very thoughtful of you, and it definitely helps defray the costs of the live stream and um, also cat supplies. Okay, I have the harness on Boo, and today's back in the leash. Hey! Stella! Stella! Stella, you do not hit Boo. You going downstairs? Okay, it's a clear party platter, so it's a little hard to see. But they were both eating out of the party platter at the same time. There's Boo eating some crunchies. There's Stella eating crunchies. And there's the party platter. There we go. Simba and Boo are both eating crunchies at the same time from the party platter. Good boy, Boo. What a good boy you are, Boo. Simba's being a good boy also. It's only Stella that's been nasty. Splash is trying to come up. We might have three. We might have three on the platter. If we could get Splash to join them, oh my god, it would be amazing. There's Splash, there's Stella. And here's Simba and Boo. Anyone who says Simba is not Boo's son has never seen them eat crunchies. Simba takes after Boo so much in that respect. There's Stella and Splash. Oh my god. 
Guys, they were eating out of the same compartment. Literally head to head. Oh, is Splash gonna join them? He's looking. Okay, guys, hold up. Here, let's see what happens. Stella's looking. Right now, it's a success to get two cats to eat on this party platter. If we could get three cats to eat on this party platter tonight, it would be amazing. Splash of smelling boo. Oh, look, guys. All four cats in one shot. They're all together here. Okay, want more crunchies? I guess still a few crunchies. Stella wants to join in, but she's being stubborn. Splash is watching from about eight feet away. Okay, I moved the platter over. I wanted Stella to like join in, but Simba's like blocking her. Like we know how much Stella likes her crunchies, right? So this has to be like killing her that she's not getting any. So today was great to get the two cats on the one party platter. Maybe tomorrow or the next day we could get three and then maybe eventually we could get four. Of course these are just crunchies, but it would be great to eventually get like full meals. Stella? Be nice. They're still eating crunchies. I gave them a little bit more. But again, this is the only time they get crunchies now. I did not give them any crunchies with their breakfast and I did not give them any crunchies with their dinner. And uh, with their breakfast and dinner, they're not getting like full portions for cats their size. They're getting portions for a 10 pound cat. And the reason why, is so that they can still have some crunchies as their deli calorie allotment.
Although I have to say with like this crunchy training, they're probably eating more crunchies than they should. At least Simba and Boo are probably eating more crunchies than they should. And at least Simba like walks away like when he's had enough. They look at him like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he's eating so much and so fast. Stella's still watching him. Wow. Stella, eat your crunchies. Stella, you need your crunchies? Boo's sitting here and I've been giving him like maybe like one crunchy at a time because he should really not be having any more crunchies. I gave Stella the party platter and I put some crunchies in it but she refuses to eat the crunchies from the party platter. She smelled them but I guess she doesn't want to eat them. And there's Splash, he's looking for crunchies. I just gave him the party platter, he should eat them. He's smelling them too, but he should eat them. He was hanging out here, just kind of looking at Splash. Splash is eating out of the party platter. I was giving both him and Stella like little individual crunchies. Boo's been getting some crunchies in the lid of this container. Just like one at a time. He's passed his crunchy quota. So Boo's been eating crunchies out of this red lid, one or two at a time. I've been giving Stella some crunchies. She's been eating them on the rug. And Splash is eating crunchies out of the party platter. And Boo's been looking at them like, why are they getting more crunchies? They're getting more crunchies because Boo just had a whole bunch of crunchies with Simba. And Simba's off near the cat tower just relaxing. So here's Boo. And here's Stella. She just sat down on the scratch and roll with her back to Boo. Hi, Boo. And there's Splash. Three cats on the rock eating crunchies. Stella, you gonna be nice, girl? Stella, you gonna be nice, girl? So here's Boo on the rug. Stella is in her cardboard cat house. I guess she likes it and she's with her pillow. Do you see her pillow? Hello, Stella. It is 10.26 p.m. I'm sitting here with Splash, who's hanging out on this orange towel. For some reason, he really likes that towel. Boo's hanging out here with me on the rug. Stella's in her house. She's kind of bored. And Simba's way over there by the door. I took out the uh, cat charmer and uh, Simba had to come running over. They like playing with the stick end of it. And so far, Boo has not jumped on anybody. He's holding on to this part of it. You want this? We don't jump on cats. Boo looks, Boo looks like he's ready to jump on someone. Boo jumped on Splash. Splash swatted at him. Splash is growling at him. 
Boo backed away a little bit, but really the only reason why is because he's on the leash and the harness. If he was not on the leash and harness, that could have easily escalated. And again, it could be that Boo just wants to play and he's really not sure how to go about doing that in a good manner. Or it could just be that that's how Boo likes to play. She's growling. Boom. What are we doing? What are we doing, Boom? Huh? You being a good boy or you being a bad boy? What are we doing, Boo? Good boy, Boo. Good boy, Boo. Mm, pretty boy. You're a good boy, Boo. It's kind of funny because here we are all sitting in a circle. Here's Boo. Here's me. They're still in our house. There's Simba on the scratch and roll. There's Splash near the towel. And there's Boo. I'm completely outnumbered by cats right now. And we're all sitting here in a circle. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 9.32 a.m. Splash is hanging out by Boo's door. Good morning, Simba. How are you today? So Simba slept in this cat tower most of the night. And Splash slept in the cat tower next to him. And I know that because I checked the security footage this morning I was up at like 6 o'clock. Splash loves it at Boo's door. He loves it there. First wheatgrass, and then breakfast. Today the cats are eating Nature's Variety Instinct raw cat food. Um, they're getting half rabbit formula and half chicken formula. I bought a few bags at Petco yesterday. They only have the small size bags, and um, that's what they had. They had two bags of chicken, then they had a few bags of rabbit, but the rabbit's more expensive, so I only bought one bag of that. When it comes to cat food, I do like to feed them food that is biologically appropriate. So, for example, I feel like a chicken or a rabbit is something that a cat would eat in nature, like. They could hunt down either of those animals, whereas like beef or pork, cats are not going to bring down a cow and they're not going to bring down a pig. So um, I don't like feeding beef or pork to the cats. 10.39 a.m. Boo's been eating his breakfast. The cats downstairs finished all of their breakfast like immediately. They really enjoyed it. Now Boo is eating his breakfast. Twelve eighteen p.m. and I want to document Splash's progress. I don't have it on camera right now uh, because it's been happening when I don't have the camera on. But uh, this is the ottoman. This is the towel on the ottoman downstairs that Splash likes to lay on. And uh, right now, today was the first day that he let me pet him while he's laying on this ottoman. Usually I'll tr come over to pet him and he'll like jump off and run away. And today he let me pet him while he's laying on the ottoman. Of course, when I go to take the camera out, he runs away. 
Um, but he let me pet him while he was laying here. He's also now letting me pet him like in the kitchen upstairs. He's letting me pet him in places he never let me pet him before. It used to be the only time I could pet him was right before he ate. So I would make sure that I pet him before he ate. But now with like this boo integration stuff going on, Splash is letting me pet him in other places of the house, which is huge for him. So I don't know. It's a uh, boo's making progress and Splash is making progress. And, uh, it's interesting dynamics between cats. It is about 4 p.m. right now. I'm in my office and I just checked into the live stream to see what Boo's up to and he's relaxing in his cat tower. And there's a whole bunch of super chatting going on. So I wanna give some shout outs. Shout out to Paul Carey for the 25 pound super chat. Thank you so much for that donation. Uh, shout out to Removing the Veil for a 10 pound super chat. It says, hello, Lucky Ferals. Been watching your channel since August. I live in the UK and I have had a pure black feral cat that has been visiting us since last year, which we call Lily. Look forward to more. Thank you so much for the super chat removing the veil. That's awesome. We have Lisa M with a $50 super chat. It says, thank you LF from Sheba and Muffy. Thanks so much, Lisa M, for that very generous donation. And uh, there's a super chat from Kitty Cat B Flat for $5 Canadian. It says, I don't have a lot to donate, but I love what you do. Thank you so much, Kitty Cat B Flat. Um, I really appreciate uh, donations of all sizes because they all help to pay for cat supplies and for live stream expenses and also for video editing expenses. I'm sitting here petting Stella and Simba and Stella just stood up on her back legs and was like trying to get in the food bowl. They didn't have any crunchies today, you know, I'm keeping the crunchies for training, so they're probably very hungry. Right, Stella? We're hungry for food, right? Okay, good, then you guys will eat. They ate all their breakfast. They really enjoyed their breakfast. I'm uh, putting new sticky tape on the uh, self-groomer and uh, right now, this is on the floor here. I took the back off of it. Stella wants to rub herself against it. Kind of like Boo's arch. Now they have an arch down here. They don't really use it much. I just put the self-groomer back on the wall with double the amount of sticky tape that was on it before. And Stella is already using it. This self-groomer is to Stella what the arches are to Boo. That's like an SAT question. The arches are to Boo like the self-groomer is to Stella. She loves it. She gets all upset when it's off the wall. Now she's happy again. Eventually, this could be permanently attached to the wall, but for now, it's just on the uh, foam sticky tape. Right, Stella? You happy girl? Okay, so the self-groomer is on this wall where it was. Stella's in love with that self-groomer. Right, Stella? You love it? And then over here on the other side of the stairs, I move the arch over because they also like to rub on this side. So now they can rub on the arch. And then also this, uh, whatever this branch thing is, um, they rub on that also. So that's right next to it. Simma's hanging out here. I'm sitting on the stairs right now. I'm sitting on like the bottom step. And Simma's hanging out behind me. And Stella's hanging out here. And the reason why is because this was their dinner. And they ate all the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites and they left a whole bunch of the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets that are smashed down. And um, they want their crunchies. And I think what I'm going to do tonight is give them crunchies in the Cat It Digger, that digger right there. Uh, just because I need a break from the integration procedures 
and it's been taking up like a lot of time like it's been taking up hours every night having crunchy time with the cats and there are things I need to catch up with they'll get their crunchies in the digger then boo will get some crunchies upstairs it is mail time let's open some packages okay the first thing we have is a card let's open up the card boo's pacing back and forth very excited and anxious It says, Merry Christmas. Look how cute it looks like Simba. And this looks like Boo. Do you see that? It looks like Boo in a costume. That's cute. It says, Sarah the Angel Cat of Christmas, age 15 and a half years old, December 2017. And the owner is Nicole LaRue. It says, I wish you had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's to you. LF and your feline family, Stella Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. This little one angel cat of Christmas named Sarah have been adopted at 10 and she is now 15 and a half years old. She is a perfect small black cat with trumpet ears. She is so lovable and each day she comes in my arms to see videos of the lucky ferals. Best wishes, Nicole and Sarah. Thank you so much, Nicole. That's a beautiful card. And this is an adorable photo of Sarah. Okay, now let's open a box. We're going to start small and work our way up to large just because that's how they're piled up. Check that out out it is the complete series of the Brady Bunch on DVD how awesome is that see it from the beginning to the end with the Brady Bunch the complete series this 20 disc DVD collection includes all five cheerful seasons of America's most beloved sitcom I love the Brady Bunch. I grew up watching it all of the time on reruns. I haven't seen it in forever and um, I still watch DVDs. Um, I haven't totally converted to streaming, although I do uh, stream a good bit of video. I also like uh, DVDs and I love old sitcoms and I feel like they never have enough of them on TV anymore. It's all like new shows and reality shows and just stuff I'm not really interested in but I love the old sitcom so uh, this is great and especially in the winter like when it's cold out it's so great to just stay home and watch DVDs this is hi lucky I wanted to write a Brady Bunch song parody about Boo and Stella for the gift message but sadly it would be too many characters maybe the cats can watch this and learn how to be a family again Ash Williams Ash that is a great idea I am definitely going to make the cats watch uh, the DVDs with me and it's funny because um, when I was thinking of names for Simba, one of the names was Tiger because he looked like a little tiger kitten. But I couldn't do it because every time I hear the name Tiger, I think of the dog on the Brady Bunch. And I was like, yeah, no, he's not a tiger anyway. He's a Simba. What do we have here? We have a bag of Blue Wilderness Dry Cat Food. This is Rocky Mountain Recipe with rabbit and life source bits. 100% grain free, no chicken, poultry, byproduct meals, and uh, the cats have been eating this. They have not been eating the uh, green bag though, they've had the blue bag, um, which I believe was the chicken. Uh, so this will be really interesting to see if they like this. It says, a truly unique combination of beauty and pure physical grace. The lynx has roamed the American West for centuries. Today, the stealth and spirit of this timeless hunter lives in all our feline companions. In celebration of the spirit of the lynx in the American West, we've created Blue Wilderness Rocky Mountain Recipe. Featuring tasty rabbit, Rocky Mountain Recipe will satisfy the wild carnivore that lives in every cat. Um, it says, Rocky Mountain Recipe provides your cat with a high concentration of the meat she loves without the grains that contain gluten. Formulated by animal nutritionists, it's the ideal food for pet parents who want their cat to experience the spirit of the lynx. 
Um, it says high quality protein, rabbit, chicken meal, and fish meal, healthy complex carbohydrates, peas, potatoes, and sweet potatoes, antioxidant rich fruits and vegetables, carrots, cranberries, and blueberries. I love that. Then it also says the enhanced supplementation of life source bits. Blue's exclusive life source bits are a precise blend of antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that are cold formed to retain their potency. They include ingredients that help support immune system health, life stage requirements, healthy oxidative balance. Okay, let's, um, let's check out the ingredients because I'm curious. I've never, I've never seen these before. Let's see what we have. We have rabbit, chicken meal, tapioca starch, pea protein, Manhattan fish meal, which is a source of omega-3 fatty acid. Potato starch, chicken fat, dried egg, deboned chicken, pea fiber, peas, natural flavor, flaxseed, uh, DL, methionine, choline chloride, and then we go into all kinds of, um, well actually we go to potassium chloride, dehydrated alfalfa meal. I always love when they put alfalfa because it's just such a great ingredient for the cats. I've even taken alfalfa tablets myself from time to time. Then there's a bunch of vitamins and minerals, and there's potatoes, there's sweet potatoes, there's carrots, there are cranberries, blueberries, barley grass, parsley, all kinds of vitamins and minerals to meet the requirements. And yeah, this looks great. Um, I'm happy that it's the rabbit formula because I feel like these cats are always eating chicken, so it's good for them to get some variety. This is High Lucky. The furry buddies love their kitty crack crunchies, so here are a couple different flavors to tantalize their taste buds from Bad Billy. Thank you, Bad Billy, and it will be really interesting to see how well uh, the cats like uh, the different variety. It's a heavy box. This says, Hi Lucky Ferals, enjoy your gift from Anne Marie, Dippolitti, and Callie. Oh, well, thank you guys. It looks like we have food. Yay. We have the Nature's Variety Pride uh, food. It's Champ's Chicken Flaked Formula. Um, this is great for Hydrox. This is what I've been feeding him through the winter. Uh, along with some um, Trader Joe's food and um, some other things when I'm out of this and uh, Yeah, this will be wonderful for him. Thank you so much. Then we have a children's book It's called Mr. Fuzzbuster knows he's the favorite How funny is that because it looks like boo and that's like exactly what boo told Sonia when she talked to boo on the phone Sonia Fitzpatrick the animal communicator um, Boo said that he was the favorite, so I thought this book was so funny, and um, someone told me about this, and I totally apologize because I don't remember your name, because it was quite a while ago when someone brought this book to my attention. So, I think it's really cute, Look, and um, I think Boo's going to like it. I'm going to read it to Boo. Maybe I'll read it to the other cats, too. Maybe Boo can learn some lessons from it. So, um, look how cute. Maybe I'll read it to you guys. Maybe I'll make a video of this book. But, uh, thank you. It says, Hi, Lucky Ferals. Enjoy your gift from Anne-Marie DiPolini and Callie. It says, Hi, LF. Enjoy your gift. Great idea for the next video. Bedtime story reading to the kitties. Lots of love from Anne-Marie DiPolini and Callie. Uh, that is a great idea, uh, Anne-Marie. It looks like we think alike. Um, so hopefully maybe I'll film something like that. Then we also have a bag of the Nature's Variety Instinct Original Dry Cat Food. This is the grain free recipe with Real Doc. The cats love this. So this is what they've been eating. They've been eating this dry food um, along with the Blue Wilderness dry food and this is the Kitty Crack along with the Blue Wilderness dry food. If we look at the ingredients, uh, the ingredients are duck, turkey meal, chicken meal, Manhattan fish meal, chicken fat, peas, duck meal, tapioca, dried tomato pomace, natural flavor, sun-cured alfalfa meal, 
So you can see the ingredients are very similar to the um, Blue Wilderness ingredients in many ways. This also has marillonite clay, it has a bunch of vitamins and minerals, it has carrots, apples, cranberries, it has pumpkin seeds, and rosemary extract, as well as a bunch of probiotics. So I know the cats love this food and I feel really great feeding it to them because I know it's a healthy food. So thank you so much, Emery, for all of these amazing gifts for the cats. Okay, one more box. This is a really big box and it's coming from the UK, I think. I think that's what it says on the front and um, I don't know what it is. So let's open it and let's see what's inside. I think it might be something soft. It looks like a pillow. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? That's a pillow with Hydrox on it. That's so crazy. It's a pillow with splash on it. That is wild. I want to say it looks just like him, but it does, of course, because it's a photo of him. Wow. It's like a life-size photo, too. And this one has Simba. There's Simba laying on the steps. I've never seen pillows like this before. And here's Boo. There's Boo with his arches. I'm so cute. This has to be Stella. And there we have a pink pillow with Stella on it. Stella is sitting on her scratch and roll. These cats are really going to get really big egos from these pillows. Wow, check that out. We have a white pillow with all five cats on it and it says Lucky Ferals. That is cute. Is there a note? I hope there's a note. It says, hi, LF Lass. I was thinking that the cats may like to have their own pillows to relax on. There is one for each of them and there is one for you as well, but you will no doubt end up with them all, cats being cats and all that probably will not go anywhere near them. And yes, I know that Hydrax will not be able to enjoy his yet, but maybe one day. Anyway, I hope you like and enjoy your gifts from Rebel131313. Well, thank you so much, Rebel131313. Did you make these pillows yourself? They are really cool, and um, that must have been a lot of work if you did. I am definitely going to um, let the cats use these and see if they like them. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put Boo's pillow where Stella hangs out all the time, which would be downstairs. And I'm going to put Stella's pillow in Boo's room on his bed. You know, maybe it'll help them uh, work through their differences. So uh, thank you again. It is 11.52 p.m. And I'm just about to go to bed. And there's Stella. She's sleeping in her cat bed. Good night, Stella. There's Simba, he's sleeping on the ottoman. Good night, Simba. And there's Splash. He was sleeping in the other round cat bed, but when I took the camera out, he jumped down. Good night, Splash. <coughs> Stella, those are your crunchies. You can eat them. Hey! Hey! Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 9 a.m. Good morning, Boo. Boo was on free roam last night. He slept on the bed for part of the night. He actually just jumped on the bed a little while ago to wake me up. Boo ate all of his dinner from last night. He is starting to tear large chunks out of his cardboard cat scratcher. This thing has definitely seen better days, and um, I think it's time for me to replace it with a new one. This is Boo's breakfast. He's getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Rabbit Bites, 
and chicken bites, half and half. He's getting his herbs and he's getting water. The cats are getting some cat grass today. I took the cat grass out and both Stella and Simpa jumped the uh, low fence for it. I keep calling it a fence, but it's like a gate. Simba's gonna eat it. Hey, Dumba. And Stella's saying, I'm waiting here by the door for my real food, right? She wants to jump the fence again. Go ahead. Yay. That was good exercise, right, Stella? Hello, Splash. I just looked outside and Hydrox is eating dry food out of the feeder. Stella jumped back over the gate. I guess she's being impatient because her breakfast is not being served immediately. Splash is at the gate. I'd like to see Splash jump over the gate. That would be big for Splash. Come on, Splash, jump over the gate. Jump the gate, Splash, do it. You could do it, Splash, jump it. Still is eating her wheatgrass. Or maybe she's just checking it out. Come on, Splash, jump the gate. Jump the gate, Splash. Splash is always very cautious. And he's not jumping the gate because he's thinking, well, how am I going to get back downstairs if I jump this gate? He's worrying about his ability to return. The cats are getting the same thing as Boo, but they're not getting any herbs. Hello, Splash. Go eat your food. Go eat your food, Splash. 9.58 a.m. Simba and Splash are in the cat towers in the window in the living room. They love laying in these cat towers and looking outside. Right now, they're laying in the cat towers and looking at Boo's door. Boo's in his room. Now Boo is also laying in his cat tower and looking out of his windows. But when he heard me speaking, then he jumped down and came to the door. I guess he's looking for some kind of crunchies or something. Right, Boo? So I think it's fair that Boo gets to lay in his cat tower and look out his windows while the other cats get to lay in the other cat towers and look out the windows. Boo's in his room, but he has everything he needs in his room, and he loves his room. And this room used to be Stella's room originally. When Stella first came inside, she was only allowed downstairs. Same thing with Splash and Simba. It was several months before any of them were allowed to even venture upstairs. And then when Stella was in heat, this was her room. And uh, then when the cats got fixed, this was also their room. This was their recovery room. And they stayed in here when they got fixed. And um, then when they came out, they went back downstairs. And it was several months until they were on their best behavior and they were really familiar with life inside of a house and uh, not easily spooked by things inside of a house, well, except for Splash, uh, that they were allowed to venture upstairs and have free roam of the entire house. So Boo is following that same progression. When he came inside, he came into this room and um, he spent 60 days in this room and now he's in this room part of the time. The other time he gets free roam in the house. And I would never want to rush anything because this is always a stressful situation to begin with. And by rushing things, you create even more stress on the animals and you never want to do that. It's around 10.30 or 10.45 and it is about 38 degrees out, 37. In the sunroom, it is 48, so it's a 10 degree difference, uh, probably because it's early and the sun's just starting to hit it. There's Hydrox. He must have come out of one of the shelters to eat some food. Right now, it is about 6 p.m. and I am just about to leave my office. I've only been here a few hours today. And uh, there's a live stream going on of Boo's room. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Super Chat today. And um, that is Vegan Gains Black Dad, who uh, donated $10. I'm assuming the A means $10 Australian. 
um, thank you so much for the super chat donation. Uh, it's really appreciated, and thank you for uh, viewing the live stream. It is 6:18 p.m. Just got home, and um, Stella and Simba were both in the cat towers in the windows, and. When I come inside, they always come and greet me. They always come and say hello. Right, Simba? Probably because they want dinner. They had their breakfast. They did not have any crunchies. Because I saved the crunchies now. So maybe later, we'll have crunchy time. Right, guys? Want some crunchy time later? Let's see. Let's see if we could do that. We didn't have any crunchy time yesterday. So, um, last night I gave them some crunchies to eat. Because we didn't have any crunchy time activities, right? Right, Simba? You like crunchy time. All of the cats like crunchy time. We just came downstairs and here's Stella laying down by the food. Well, there's no food, but, you know, it's their platter where they eat. Okay, you guys just missed it because I was using two hands to pet Splash. Splash let me give him a two-handed, like, back massage right now. Um, so I was petting him with both hands. So, like, I was petting both of his ears. Then I was petting, like, both sides of his back. And um, I was really giving him, like, massage. I was pretty much petting him pretty firm. And he wasn't moving. So, um... Yeah, it was several minutes. Um, I was petting him like that, and um, then what happened was he turned around and he uh, saw like I was really close to him, and then he like jumps. That's what he does. It's what he did last time also. I don't know what it is about that he gets like freaked out, but uh, that's good for a Splash. That was a first. I mean, I've petted him with two hands before. That was the time when I said, "Okay, let me see if I could pick him up," and I was able to pick him up. I probably could have picked him up today also, but I just wanted to see uh, how long I could pet him with both hands and have him not like feel uncomfortable. And I was able to do that, I would say probably maybe three or four minutes. So for Splash, that's really good. Right now it is about 6.50 p.m. and this says that it is 26 degrees out and I'm standing out here without a jacket. I just gave Hydrox half a can of food and some water. And there's Hydrox, he just came out of the heated cat shelter and he's waiting for me to go inside so he can eat. So I am going to go inside. It is 10.20 p.m. And I have a piece of roast turkey here. And I'm really curious if Boo would like to eat it. The other cats don't like it. Oh, wow, you got big teeth, Boo. Is he gonna eat it? I don't like to give Boo people food at all. And most of the time I don't even have meat in the house because I usually eat vegan the majority of the time. But I have a few slices of roast turkey that I don't want. So I thought maybe Boo would like them. And it looks like he does. There you go, Boo. You just got a treat. There's still a little piece of turkey there. Okay, so it ends up that Boo really likes this turkey. I was just on a phone call and he was just like looking all over for the rest of it. You want to eat it? It's right here. You want it? You want the turkey, boo? Here, eat the turkey. You don't want the turkey? What's the matter? You don't want turkey? You just ate it. You like turkey. You don't like it now? You only like one piece? That's fine, boo. I'll throw it out. I don't really care if you eat it or not. I just thought you'd like it as a treat. I guess he just wants to eat it out of my hand. Okay, so maybe Boo is more like the other cats than I thought. And maybe he only ate that first piece of turkey out of curiosity. 
because now he doesn't want that second piece. Then I was like, well, maybe he just doesn't want it because he doesn't want to eat on the rug. He only wants to eat on his plate. But I just put it on the plate and he doesn't want that either. I guess he doesn't like turkey. Like the other cats. They just like their raw food. It is 10.48 p.m. And uh, Boo's on his harness and he's on his leash. And I just let the other cats upstairs. I open the door. And we are going to do crunchy time. Splash is now walking into Boo's room to check it out. Boo's being a good boy. Now, none of them have had any crunchies today. Boo just had like three crunchies right now. I give him a little bit of crunchies. And uh, we're going to give him crunchies in the party platter. And let's see how many cats we could get to eat out of the party platter at the same time. Now, I am expecting Stella to start walking upstairs in any minute. I don't see her right now, but usually she'll come through like the dining room and then through that way. So, um, okay. Now it's very easy to get Simba and Boo to eat off the party platter at the same time. I just put crunchies on both sides and there they go. They have no problems with that. Boo is like very overexcited right now over these crunchies. Like Simba's calm, but Boo is just like so excited. Like he's starting to, uh, you know, put his paw out to like scratch me again. He hasn't scratched me, but you know, he's still attempting it. Okay. Okay. There's plenty of crunchies for everyone. Plenty of crunchies. Let's see? Hey, you don't scratch. You be gentle. Splash is watching from the hallway. Okay, boo. Hold up. Be a nice boy. Good boy, boo. Just, just be patient. Boo has to work on his patience. Simba is a very ba patient boy. Simba will just sit there and be calm and wait. And Boo needs to work on his calmness. He needs to work on his patience. I just tossed some crunchies to Splash and uh, Boo is acting exactly like Simba. He just stole Splash's crunchies. Now we know where Simba gets it from. Simba is just like his father. Poor Splash, now he has two cats stealing his crunchies. His brother and his father. Gentle. Boo? You know, you had food today. It's not like you're starving. You had food today. You can calm down a little bit. Stella just came upstairs. She's looking like what's going on. I know she wants crunchies, but she's surveying the situation. I don't know if she wants to get involved. Okay, I am tossing some crunchies to Stella, and Boo just went over and stole her crunchie. She didn't hiss at him, she didn't hit him. So. Uh. Simba's growling. Stella doesn't like that. Splash. He's eating crunchies too. Everyone's eating crunchies. So it ends up that nobody wants to eat with Boo on the party platter because Boo's hogging up all the crunchies. He 
He's like attacking the crunchies. Simba gave up on the party platter. So Simba and Splash just went into Boo's room. And uh, it's just Stella and Boo right here. And I was hoping Stella would eat those crunchies out of the party platter. I put them on our side and I moved it farther toward her. But she's not going for it. Now Simba and Splash are in Boo's room because you have to remember that that was their room first. They used to hang out in that room every day. Like they'd get up in the morning and then that's where they would go to look out the window. So. Who's growling? Why are you growling, Stella? Stella's growling to warn Boo not to bother her. That's why cats growl when there's like new cats around. They give them warnings. Right, Stella? The party platter has moved even closer to Stella. It's less than a foot away from her. There are crunchies in it that she could eat, but she wants to be stubborn. But she's saying, oh no, I am not eating off the same party platter with that cat. Stella, eat the crunchies. Stella. Stella, those are your crunchies. You could eat them. Hey, hey. Stella? Stella? You gonna go downstairs? I picked Stella up and I had a long talk with her. I moved her over near the front door. She's eating some crunchies out of the container lid. She needs to be more polite to Boo. But we also need to remember how Stella gets when she's hungry. Stella gets very hangry. It is 11.17 p.m. All the cats have had enough crunchies except for Boo. Like he could just eat crunchies all night. So I'm only going to give him a few more and then that's it. Simba's sitting in the cat tower by the window. Splash is in the hallway. They're both kind of watching Boo. And um, tonight, um, the other cats are going to get free roam. Boo had free roam last night. And um, so tonight he'll be in his room. And, uh, and then tomorrow, tomorrow night he gets free roam. So they're still on an alternating schedule. Okay, so right now I'm playing with the cat charmer. And Splash has been playing with it, Boo's been playing with it, and Simba's been playing with it. And, um, I think Boo had too many crunchies. I hope he doesn't throw up. 11.23 p.m., and I'm actually pretty proud of Boo right now. I mean, here he is. Here's Simba. Here's Splash. And they've all been playing with the, the uh, cat charmer and this other teaser wand toy. And, um, so far, no one's jumped on anyone. Splash just walked over to Boo. Like, he is over here. I don't know if he wants to play. I think he wants to play. Maybe he wants crunchies. I don't know. This is what Boo did to me when I was taking the harness off of him. He, uh, scratched me up pretty bad. And, uh, he also tried to bite. So, I don't know. What was up with him? I guess maybe he wanted to keep the harness on. I just put Boo in his room and uh, Stella comes out. It's like she knows Boo's in his room. So now she says, okay, I could come out and play. Like, that's not right. These cats should not feel like they have to hide from Boo.
I have to say, Boo did really great today. Um, when he was eating his crunchies, he did really good when he was out here playing, when the other cats were out here playing also. But it was really bad getting that harness off of him today. It was like ridiculous. Twelve twenty-seven a.m. Good night, Simba. Good night, Boo. He's in his cat tower. Good night, Stella. She's on the dining room chairs. Good night, Splash. Splash is on patrol. Did he just spit out what he ate? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 9 a.m. I've been hearing a lot of motion at Boo's door, like someone hitting the gates. And I'm assuming it's Splash because here he is. There's no camera on the gate right now because the battery needs to be recharged. So when I try to look on the security camera to see who it was, the camera's dead. Boo is under the day bed, but when I call his name, he comes out. Boo knows his name. Good boy, Boo. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Stella. It was probably around five or six o'clock this morning that I heard a loud bang and this small cat tower fell over again. I think I just need to turn it in a different direction. Well, I really need to just move it away from here and get rid of it. But the cats love scratching on it and they love using it. So maybe if I just turn it in a different direction, it could have something to do with how the way it is distributed and uh, how they use it because it's been here before. I mean, it was here for a very long time and it never flipped over. Simba's hanging out by Boo's door. Usually I feed them when I get up and then I like take a shower and get dressed and everything. But today I'm doing it the opposite. I just took a shower and now I'm going to get dressed and then I'm going to feed them. I'm doing that for a reason. It's because Boo will be on free roam today. And the other cats, right now they're on free roam up here. And that way they can look out the windows and uh, get some light, lay in the sun and um, then when I put them downstairs, they really don't have access to as much window space or sunlight. So at least they'll get some of that today. And then uh, when I give them their breakfast, um, they'll be downstairs. Plus it's good for them to interact with Boo at his door here. If I fed them right away, they wouldn't be doing this. This morning, Stella did something that she hasn't done since before Boo was in the house. And that is jump on my bed in the middle of the night. I must have been like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And lay down next to me, start kneading me, and then fall asleep with her paws on me. Almost like she was like cuddling with me. And um, then when I woke up later, like hours later, she was still doing that. And she has not done that since Boo's been inside. So I was like, wow, good for you, Stella. It could be because they heard that I was upset in Boo's room when he scratched me yesterday. Um, they weren't happy that he scratched me or that he uh, bit me. And, um, you know, they're sensitive, to the, they're sensitive to those things. So they don't want me to get hurt. The other thing that happened is that Simba jumped onto the bed also. So Stella was like laying right up next to me and then Simba was like laying at the foot of the bed and there were two cats on the bed and that's another thing that hasn't happened since Boo's been inside. So uh, maybe they're finally coming around. Uh, they can have their cat grass as an appetizer while I get dressed. Stella was very eager for me to put it down for them. She even jumped up on her hind legs. I'm just about to feed the cats. Hey guys. 
I guess. And then Stella says, no, pet me, pet me. And Splash says, no, pet me. See that? He came to me for the pet. I'm walking up the stairs and I just saw Hijax walk past the window. He's going to hang out in his little sunny spot by the house. This is weird. I just opened the back door and this is the panel of insulation that was on the uh, automatic feeder. This was the insulation taped to the front of the feeder. Now I know it had fallen off uh, the other day and it was just kind of on the ground near the feeder. And here it is somehow, near the back door. I don't know if wind took it up here or, or what. And I don't have a camera on the backyard right now, so there's no way for me to tell. But it is 22 degrees out. I just opened the door so the cats could look out this uh, screen door. And just standing near the door, I mean, it's cold. Even though our deal is broken, I'm giving Boo a taste of Hydrox's food. I think it's good for him to eat it off of a spoon in my hand. It helps him not scratch when food is offered to him. Good boy, that's it. The rest is for Hydrox, okay? The rest is for Hydrox, Boo. Who got brushed this morning? Who got petted this morning for a long time, right, Boo? Right now it is 11:15 a.m. There's Hydrox. He's laying in the sun by the house. Looks like a happy boy. It is about 26 degrees. All of the snow is gone. It is all gone. I'm so happy. Inside of the sunroom, next to Hydrox's cat shelter, it is about 48 degrees. So I would say every time that it's a sunny day and that I've checked the temperature um, inside of this little solarium, it has been on average about 20 degrees higher than the outside temperature. So I think that's good. I just gave Hydrox half a can of the Trader Joe's ocean fish, salmon, and rice dinner. I'm only giving him half of a can because I know he's been eating dry food out of the feeder and I don't want to waste food. I don't like wasting food and I don't want to leave a whole bunch of food sitting there attracting birds and whoever else might want to come by and eat it. So I just came downstairs to turn the live stream on and notice this. So it appears that someone had a bit of an accident. Also I don't see any like wheatgrass particles in here so I would assume maybe this would be Splash. Maybe he ate too much or ate too fast. They did eat all of their breakfast. I am using this Jingos to clean up this mess. It is ultra stain remover and odor eliminator. And I've used this Jingos on many things around the house already. And it works amazing. Um, I've used it on furniture. Like I spilled beet juice, you know, like red beet juice on uh, my beige sofa. And I took it all right out. Um, I cut myself and then um, I had blood on some fabric and that took that right out and I've used this also um, on just various other stains that I find on the carpet. It takes all those right out. So not that this is necessarily going to stain, but this is really good for any kind of messes that need cleaning up. I'm really happy that Wagmore sent this Jingo's product to me because I had no idea that it existed. So a thank you again, Wagmore, for sending this to me. It is 4.23 p.m. right now. I was just downstairs with uh, the other cats. Uh, They're doing a live stream today and um, I gave them all a bunch of treats. Um, they're getting these Halo Healthsome cat treats with real chicken. And um, I've decided that Splash was the one that uh, threw up um, because, as I mentioned before, there was no cat grass in the vomit. And um, when I was giving them some treats, he looked like he uh, was going to throw up, like he threw up in his mouth a little bit and then like swallowed it. I know that's gross, but 
it's what happened. Um, so they had some treats and um, they're downstairs enjoying their comfortable beds. And right now we are going to give Boo some treats. Want some treats, Boo? Okay, Boo, sit down. Okay, Boo, ready? You don't want the treats? Maybe he doesn't like these treats. They're so used to getting like the crunchies as treats. So maybe he doesn't like these, but he should eat them. I'm not giving him that many. Just a little afternoon snack. It's like an afternoon tea for the cats. Did he just spit out what he ate? I wasn't really watching. Does he not like them? Maybe he's like splashing, he doesn't like them. You don't want any more? Is there something in here you don't like, Boo? You're done? You don't like these? Are you gonna eat them or no? This is not, that's not a treat. Are you gonna eat the treats, Boo? They might not like these treats. No, you don't like them? Okay, I'm sorry you don't like them. The ingredients on these treats are chicken, potato flour, ground peas, tapioca flour, chicken fat, pumpkin, flaxseed, tomatoes, catnip, taurine, ascorbic acid. Now, if any ingredient is going to give them issues, it would be the ground peas, I would assume. Because anytime you have any kind of like beans, or legumes, um, those can be difficult for, I mean, they could be difficult for humans to digest, and um, they would be even more difficult for cats to digest. So it looks like Boo is not going to eat these treats. Here's the side of Hydrox's shelter. Um, I just put that red paver stone um, in that solarium. I bought some paver stones today for something else and I had one extra so I thought let me just put it in there see if it absorbs heat and makes it any warmer in there than it normally would. Now the thing is like can you see that there's like this huge gap here so that solarium does not sit flush with the um, shelter underneath so um, it's pretty good that it's heating up that thermometer like 20 degrees a day considering so if it was more closed off, it would get even hotter than that. But um, I mean, there's like this huge opening for the hot air to escape. So it's pretty interesting. It's about 4.55 PM and I just gave Hydrox the other half of the can of cat food that he got earlier today. He still has quite a bit of dry food in the feeder. The temperature in his sunroom is about 38 degrees. The temperature outside is about 25 degrees. Today for dinner, all of the cats are getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Rabbit Bites and Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites. I normally give them the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets, but for some reason I defrosted the wrong food today. So they're gonna get this anyway. It's not like it's a big deal or anything, so. Come on guys. Come on guys, we're gonna eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Move over, Stally. Hello, Splashy. How are you, Splashy? Okay. It is 8.22 p.m. right now, and we just ended a live stream of the cats downstairs and their cat beds, and I want to give a shout out to Smarty Plum for today's super chat. Thank you so much, Smarty Plum, for your donation. That was very nice of you, and it definitely helps um, defray the costs of the live stream and cat supplies. It's really appreciated. 
Right now it's about 11.42 p.m. The cats have been upstairs on free room. And I just came downstairs to give him some crunchies. I've been editing tonight's video for the past few hours. Right now it's rendering. Because it's so late, I am not doing any integration of cats tonight. I gave Splash some crunchies on the floor. These two were eating off of the platter. Hydrox and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. 9.49 a.m. Good morning, Boo. How are you? I've actually been up for quite a while, but today I'm doing me things first and not cat things first. Boo, would you like to play? Boo, you want to play with me? Then he goes back on the scratch and roll. Okay, so Simba, here's the toys. And he's climbing the gates right now. I could hear him climbing the gates. Oh, it wasn't Simba, it's Stella. Stella wants to come up. Stella, are you hungry? I'm giving Boo his breakfast. He's getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Rabbit Bites and the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites his herbs, and some water. Just gave the cats their wheatgrass. Ooh, Stella wants to carry it away. I gave Boo his food and I put him in his room and I shut the door um, so I could quickly let the other cats up. And then, I just saw that like Splash was standing in the dining room and he's looking at me like, where's Boo? Why is Boo's door shut? I wanted to go say hello to Boo. So uh, now that means I am going to put gates in Boo's door so Simba and Splash can say hello to him through the gates. I bought this new rug at Tuesday morning the other day. I really love this rug. It has fruit on it. See? And Stella loves it too because she lays on it like every day now. Like this is her favorite rug to lay on. And yes, there are still some tags on it because I have not had a chance to find the scissors. The other reason is the backing on it is very slippery. I need to get some of those uh, things you put on the back of a rug so it doesn't slip around. I absolutely love this rug and I put it right on the bottom of the refrigerator so that every time I open it, it reminds me to eat fruit. This is a magnet of Callie. That was one of the cats that I grew up with. It's not actually her, but it looks exactly like her, and Simba likes to uh, look at her. And then this is Boo. This came from C.R. Barboni. Um, so I put the magnets down there at cat level so the cats could see the cats. All of the cats get rescue remedy in their water. Um, I refill their water every morning, and I put two to four drops of the rescue remedy in their water. So Boo got Rescue Remedy in his water, and then the downstairs cats also got Rescue Remedy in their water. It is 11.25 a.m. and I just came downstairs to get something out of the laundry room. Splash is laying in a cat bed. Stella is laying on the ottoman. And Simba is laying on the floor. And I thought it was really weird because they do have free roam right now. And normally they would be upstairs looking out of the windows. And I couldn't understand why. And then I realized why. Someone vomited on the stairs. 
It looks very similar to the vomit that I cleared up yesterday. So I'm thinking maybe it's the rabbit. Normally they don't eat the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw rabbit bites. They normally eat the chicken bites. And that is the other thing that is different. Like I was thinking it's either the dry food or the rabbit. But both times I found the vomit in the morning and they don't get dry food in the morning. They've been getting the rabbit in the morning. So I'm thinking Maybe it's something in that rabbit food that they don't like. So I'm gonna take a look at the ingredients right after I clean this up. So it is back to the Jingo's Ultra Stain Remover and Odor Eliminator. I just sprayed it down with that and now I am going to clean it up. Okay, so there is the cleaned up step. And I do want to say that none of the vomit that I found like smells really bad. Um, there was one time when the cats were outside that someone coughed up a hairball and it smelled horrible, but they were also eating a different diet when they were outside. They were eating like the canned friskies. Since they're most likely puking up raw food, it really doesn't have any smell because there really hasn't been much digestion going on. So um, at least that's a positive from that. The other thing that I noticed is I don't see any hairballs, like no signs of a hairball or anything which is weird because usually if you're coughing up a hairball or if something is related to, or if vomit is related to a hairball, you will see some kind of hair or fur in the vomit and I haven't seen that, so that's a bit of a mystery. Let's take a look at the ingredients on this rabbit formula. So the first ingredient is rabbit, including ground rabbit bone. Then we have pork liver, pork heart, ground pork bone, pork fat. All of those pork ingredients I'm really unhappy with. And this goes to show me that I really need to always read ingredients whenever I buy something, even if it's something that I've purchased before or even if it's a company that I really like, I still need to read the ingredients. Then it goes on to yeast culture, rabbit liver, pumpkin seeds, montmorillonite clay, apples, broccoli, butternut squash, rabbit kidney, rabbit lung, salt, Cod liver oil, dried kelp, carrots, spinach, taurine, mixed cofferols, dried chicory root, and blueberries. So I think it is all the pork in here that is giving Splash the vomits. I'm assuming it's Splash. I just looked at all of the security camera footage for the downstairs area that would show also the staircase and I don't see any of the cats puking on it. The security camera is motion activated and sometimes because cats are small, they don't set off uh, the camera. So that's why I did not see who it was, but I did check. Anyway, I'm not happy with all of these pork ingredients in here. So what I am going to do is stop feeding them this rabbit formula and see if that affects the vomiting. Okay, so I just Googled pork and cat vomit. And this is what came up. This is a forum thread from 2012. This is throwing up after eating raw pork. I give my cats three meals each day, two canned and one raw before bedtime. Usually the raw meat is chicken, but I started giving my cats raw porks lately. My cats had six raw pork meals so far, and here's the problem. Day one and two, raw pork with no problem. Day three, I gave them a chicken heart meal. Day four, pork again, and this time Meatball threw up everything 10 minutes after eating her meal. Day five, I thought maybe she had an upset stomach or hairball, so tried with pork again, and again, she threw up shortly after the meal. Day six and seven, decided to give her stomach a break, so back to raw chicken, everything was good. Day eight, back to pork, in case she was throwing up due to eating too fast. This time, I cut the meat to very tiny pieces and mixed with some water to slow down her eating. No throw up, so I thought problem solved. Day nine, last night, pork cut in tiny pieces, and guess what? She threw up again. I'm clueless what's going on, Meatball is healthy, and even after throwing up, she didn't look uncomfortable. I offered some canned meal after she threw up last night. She digged in happily and didn't throw up. Any thoughts? Anything else I can try? By the way, the pork for all these nights are from the same piece, and my other cat, Me Too, ate them with no problem at all. So when I read this, in my mind, it confirmed uh, my thoughts that maybe it is the pork causing Splash to vomit because what is described in this forum post is very similar to what's been going on here. It's when I give them the morning meal. It's only like 10 to 30 minutes after they eat that I find the cat vomit. 
It's never any other time of the day, and it's only recently, and the only change that I've been making is with the rabbit and the pork formula of the raw food. It is 12.51 p.m. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food. He is laying there in the sun, not near the house, but more toward the bushes. It is 36 degrees outside. It is 78 degrees in his sunroom. It looks like Hydrox ate all of the dry food out of the feeder. This is what the bowls look like. There's barely any water left, so I'm going to fill up the water and I am going to give him half of a can of some Trader Joe's cat food. It's just about 1 p.m. I came downstairs to put the live stream on today and here's Simba laying in this cat bed. Here's Splash laying in the cat bed. Look how cute Splash is. Hello, Splash. I hope you feel okay. I'm not giving you guys any more pork, okay? No more pork, we'll see if that's what's making you throw up. And here's Stella. She was laying on the ottoman. She always comes and says hello. Right now it's about 4.30 p.m. I am in my office and I just decided to uh, log on to the live stream and see what was going on. And it was so funny because all the cats were just totally sleeping. They were totally sleeping. So I said, let me log into the security camera because it has a microphone and I could talk to them. So um, I was like, Stella, Simba, Splash. And I could see them wake up and like move around in their beds. Like right now, Simba's cleaning himself and uh, Stella and Splash had lifted their heads up. So that's cool. I recognize their names or my voice or at least I know that the security microphone is working. Right now I also want to give a shout out to Paul Carey for uh, his Super Chat donation. It was a 25 pound Super Chat donation. Thank you so much, Paul. Uh, the donation is very much appreciated uh, for the cost of uh, putting these live streams on and also um, for cat supplies and video expenses. So thank you very much, Paul. So it's about 5.20 p.m. and Boo did not eat any of his breakfast. I don't know what's going on with him. He had crunchies last night and uh, I just gave him the crunchies on his plate and I gave him his breakfast. He did not eat it. So I just put some of those freeze dried raw crumbs on top and now he's eating those. Maybe he'll eat the rest of his breakfast. I don't know. Maybe he was just sleeping and relaxing all day. Maybe something is off with the food since like, I'm assuming Splash vomited or someone vomited. I don't know. I know I'm not giving them any more of that rabbit formula, though. That's what I know. It is about 5.20 p.m. It is 28 degrees. I just gave Hydrox the other half of the can of cat food. I filled up his water. There are still some crunchies in the bowl. The temperature in his sunroom is about 40 degrees. I'm giving Boo his dinner. He's getting the primal raw turkey nuggets and the nature's variety instinct raw chicken bites with water. Are you hungry, Boo? Boo, are you hungry? He did not eat his breakfast. He ate like a few of the uh, bites. He licked up the water and he ate like those dried raw crumbs that I put on top. So after 7 p.m. I'm coming downstairs to give the cats their dinner. Look where Splash is. He's hanging out in the little blue bed. They have all those comfortable beds on the couch, but for some reason they love these little blue beds. It's 10.45 p.m. when I took the vacuum out. I started vacuuming this green rug. And it ends up that Stella is not as afraid of this Dyson vacuum as she was as the other ones. So like everywhere I'm vacuuming, she's like a few feet away watching me. Look at all of these cat toys. I mean, there's cat toys everywhere. So I moved the scratch and roll over off of the green rug so I could vacuum the green rug. And this is what Stella does. She'll lay on it wherever I put it. And they love that orange towel. Okay, I'm still vacuuming. And I moved the scratch and roll back onto the rug. And I found their tunnel. They have this tunnel that they like to play with. They have it had it uh, to play with in quite some time. It was just tossed in a corner somewhere. 
And so I have a scratch and roll on one side. I have the tunnel in the middle. Scratch and roll on the other side. I have this orange towel over the tunnel just because they love this orange towel. I don't know why. And um, all this other stuff I still need to put back. I don't know. I mean, there's so much. There's so much cat stuff. This one green rug is like their play rug. And like it's fully loaded with all kinds of cat stuff. And everything is spilling on to the other green rug, which is there really more to um, protect the carpets than to have the cats play in it. But they end up playing on that one also. They've taken over. Simba's so tired. Hey Simba, are you tired? He's like ready to fall asleep. This is how he's sitting right now. See how they love these orange towels? I don't know why, but they think that arch is like some kind of obstacle course. I mean, that's basically kind of what they have here. It's like this playground obstacle course for cats. So I vacuumed as much of the basement as I'm going to vacuum tonight. I did find a bunch of cat toys under the entertainment center. And um, I took those out. I need to find Splash because I want to take Boo out and vacuum his room too. The pillow of Stella is on the ground because I was showing it to Boo because I want to put it in his room. I'm trying to get myself organized. Stella's so silly. She's sitting in that cat at circuit like that. She's a silly girl. Now they have not had any crunchies today. So I think I'm going to give her some crunchies now. Maybe that will lure Simba and Splash downstairs so I could vacuum out Boo's room. Stella, is that comfortable? Is that comfortable for you, Stella? It does not look very comfortable. All I have to do is shake the crunchy container and Simba comes running. I think I hear Splash. Yep, here he comes, down the steps. He was hiding under the bed because he's afraid of the vacuum. Come on, Splash. Come on down. You want some crunchies? Come on, Splash. Come on, Splash. Come on down. Come on, Splash. Come on down, get some crunchies. Come on down, get your crunchies. Come on down. You know, the next time I go to like a carnival or a state fair, I'm gonna be really good at like, you know, like those ring toss games or where you gotta throw the dimes at the plates because Stella and Simba are eating treats right near me, but Splash is over there, and I'm, and I have to throw his treats to him. So I'm, what I've been trying to do is throw them onto you, the platter of food. See so right there, I missed. 
Let's see if I can make this one. Nope, I missed. I figure the vacuum's out already, so whatever they don't need, I'll just vacuum up. It's going to be like an Easter egg hunt for them to find the crunchies. Oh, I got it. I got it, Splash. Meanwhile, Stella's been waiting here patiently. So this is why I love this vacuum, but at the same time, it's really gross. So I vacuum the two green rugs downstairs, vacuum the kitchen, I vacuum the hallway, and I'm starting to vacuum the living room, but look, this thing is full, full up with like cat hair and stuff. Like, oh my gosh, can you guys see all that? It's really gross, but at the same time, I'm really happy it's picking all this stuff up because the other vacuums that I had did not clean this deeply. And uh, again, this is only like two rugs, the kitchen floor and a hallway, and it's loaded. Ah! Splash is so funny. I came over to pet Stella and he hissed at me. Look at him. He's so funny. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. For some reason, when he's laying in the cat tower by the window, whenever I come in the room, he has to jump down and greet me. Right, Boo? Hello, Boo. Who was on free roam all night. He slept on the bed for part of the night. I think I kicked him off by mistake. And um, I don't know, I slept so soundly, I had no idea what was going on. And this morning, he jumped on the bed. I just put the wheatgrass on the floor. And um, is Boo going to be interested in it at all? Boo, you like the wheatgrass? Today the cats are getting a primal raw turkey nugget. They're also getting the Nature's Variety Instinct raw chicken bites. Uh, they normally get this for dinner, but I'm running low on the chicken bites. So um, they're getting the primal raw for breakfast also. Simba has climbed all the way to the top of the gates. Question is how is he gonna get down? Is he just gonna jump? What's he gonna do? He's determined to get to the wheatgrass. As soon as he jumped down, Boo came over here and stuck his paws through the gates. And then when I came over here, Boo ran away. Hey guys! Boo finished all of his dinner from last night. Are they gonna like the wheatgrass? Like they don't even know where to start.
There goes Simba putting his feet in it. I just put the cat's food here in the living room on the play rug. If I could get them to eat their food here, then maybe what I could do is put food on a party platter, maybe get the cats to eat off of that. I just moved the grass into the living room and I put their food in the living room. I put a few paper towels under that plate in case it gets moist. And let's see uh, if they eat it. Splash is the first one to check it out. He usually does not like to eat wheatgrass. Boo's making noise in his room. Splash just ate some wheatgrass. I mean, they should like it. Look, they got fake grass on the scratch and rolls. Boo has like fake grass on that like grassy box thing. Maybe that's why Boo is like looking for toys in the wheatgrass. That's what I thought he was doing. I'm like, what are you looking for? He's probably looking for toys. He thinks it's his grassy box. Splashes up Boo's door. I don't know the gate's in. I just have the door shut right now. Splashes back. This is the first time Splash has ever been interested in any kind of cat grass. I've been saying all along that Splash is the sensitive one. Now when someone is sensitive, they're also sensitive to like ingredients and foods. And it could be, maybe that's why Splash has been vomiting lately. Maybe he's the only one who's sensitive to ingredients in that frozen rabbit formula. And maybe he's sensitive to whatever else has been used in the other cat grass, the kind you buy in the store. I mean, you never know what they spray on it or use to grow it. So if Splash eats food and does not vomit today, then that would be a good indication that maybe it is the rabbit food which has the pork in it. It's kind of funny that there's their plate of food and there's the tray of wheatgrass and they're more interested in the cat grass than the food. Okay, maybe Simba's going to eat some food now. Splash looks like he's really enjoying this. I mean, he never goes near the wheatgrass that I buy in the stores. Eleven eighteen a.m. I put the cat food downstairs a little while ago. They didn't need it down there either, so I don't know. Maybe they don't like it because it has the turkey in it, but it is what it is. And uh, the wheatgrass is still in the living room, Simba has decided he wants to sit next to it. Stella is in the cat tower in the window. Boo is in the cat tower near his window. It's always so funny when he sits in there with his like feet hanging out. See, he heard me. As Splash is downstairs, it looks like maybe he was eating. I don't know, he just came running out of the bathroom. Maybe he was pooping. But he looks okay, and I don't see any vomit around this morning yet, so um, that's good. Right, Splash, are you gonna be sick? Splash, are you sick? 
You got a tummy ache? Do you feel better today, Splashy? It's a nice day out, and I just moved this cat shelter over a little bit. I'm rearranging some stuff on the patio right now, and I thought I would open it up and just see what's inside and has anyone been using it. I just took the roof off, and this is the ceiling insulation on it for like creating a lower ceiling versus a, like a cathedral ceiling. And this is what we see. To me, it does not look like anybody has been in here. If a cat was in here, I mean, they obviously didn't burrow down into anything. It looks like they might have just like laid on top of stuff. I'm not seeing like any fur or anything. There is the um, self-warming mat under the straw and there's insulation on the walls, so maybe no one used it. I mean, that's a good thing. I don't mind if no one uses it but it's just here as an option in case someone needs to use it. Hydrox has obviously been using the other shelter with the heating pad. It's probably around 1 p.m., maybe it's 1.30 and I'm outside working in the yard. And this is Stella by the door. She's so silly. Hello, Stella. Stella's a silly girl. It is so warm where she's laying right now. It's probably like 80 degrees in there because of the sun. It is 2.50 p.m. The cats could be anywhere they want in the house. And this is what they want to do. They want to sleep in their beds. Oh, look at poor Stella. Her eyes are closed. I must have woken her up. Splash is so funny, I came over to pet Stella, and he hissed at me. Look at him. He's so funny. He's like, why did you wake me up? Stella got up. She loves that towel. I don't know why they love these orange towels. Hello, Stella. Nice girl. How are you? Okay. Okay. I just came outside for a second and here's Hydrox, he's sitting here. He's like, where's my food? I need to give him some food. It's about 2.30 p.m. I saw him eating the dry food this morning. So right now, I'm going inside, I'm gonna get him some food and some fresh water and everything will be good. There's now a new, larger greenhouse in my backyard. So I guess Hydrox is going to get himself used to it. There's Hydrox and there's the greenhouse. I just gave Hydrox half a can of food and some water. I just gave Stella an appetizer. Okay, Stella, you want to eat? Are you done? Yeah? We're going to eat? Want dinner? They barely ate any of their breakfast. It looks like Boo did not touch his breakfast, which is really weird. I mean, like, not at all. So I'm in PetSmart right now because I need to buy uh, cat litter. Next weekend is when I replace all the cat litter. And check this out. 877 a box. This is the Dr. Elsie's Health Monitor Everyday Litter. And I just looked it up, and the only difference between this litter and the other Dr. Elsie's litter is that this has consistent particle size, whereas the other litters, like this one, has different particle sizes. So this is the one that I've been using. It is $16.49 a box. This is half price, it's $877. So I am getting three boxes of these um, because I'm going to be changing out the three litter boxes. I'm also getting one bag of the world's best cat litter, um, the multiple cat clumping formula. 
because I like this one better than the advanced formula that I bought last time. So with the money I'm saving on the litter, I'm actually buying another litter scoop. This is the one I use. I love this one. It works really, really well and it works really fast. It's $7.39, that's what I paid for it. Then they also have this one, which has a longer handle. It's supposed to be a comfort grip. And this one is $9.39. So with the money I save on the litter, I am getting this one. It's 10 8 p.m. and Boo is hacking. He's like coughing, like he's ready to cough up like a hairball or something. And I was gonna give him crunchies, but I don't think it's a good idea right now. He's making weird noises. And I'm wondering if it's the crunchies. I mean, he ate like all of his dinner and I gave him some crunchies a little while ago. Would you like some crunchies, boo? I don't want to make you sick. Are you okay? Like he obviously wants crunchies. Would you like crunchies? Hello, boo. What are you doing, boo? Good boy, boo. I just gave Boo a bag of catnip balsa. It's like a little shopping bag that reeks of catnip. Oh, he's tearing it apart. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It is 9.30 a.m. Good morning, Stella. Stella jumped on the bed a few times last night and this morning. I think she's a hungry girl. Are you a hungry girl, Stella? Hello. Good morning, Boo. Did you sleep okay? It is a rainy gray day and the thermometer on the side of the garage says it is 40 degrees out. The cats are getting their wheatgrass. Splash is watching. I wonder if he's going to join in. There's plenty of room for him. Maybe if I step back a little bit. I move the grass here near the steps because if Splash would like them, he'll come up here and get some. Come on, Splash. He's down there. You see him at the bottom of the steps? Okay, it looks like they eventually ate their dinner last night. Today for breakfast, the cats are getting the Trader Joe's tuna with additional water and they're getting the Raw Boost Mixers uh, chicken flavor. Stella's not too happy with the breakfast. Stella, you can eat your food. You like tuna. You like tuna. Simba is digging right in. Splash just came downstairs. Stella's rubbing up all against me because she wants different food, but that's what's on the menu today. Take it or leave it. Sorry, Stella. 
We can get raw food later. Boo ate all of his dinner except for a little bit. So Boo is getting the Trader Joe's tuna for cats. He's also getting the uh, Instinct raw mixer dust on top. He likes that. Yeah? What's the matter, Boo? Are you hungry? Would you like to eat? Hungry? Okay. I'm just about to go outside and feed Hydrox. Do you see what they did? They ate all of those freeze-dried raw bites off of the food. They left the tuna. They've become picky eaters. I just gave Hydrox half of a can of cat food and I also gave him fresh water. about 4 p.m. and I'm doing some cleaning and organizing and I found this bag from CatCon last August, like half a year ago. And um, it still has some stuff in it that I had not taken out. And the bag reeks of catnip. Like, oh my gosh, it's such a strong catnip odor in that bag. And uh, I thought I would give it to Stella to play with. They usually don't like bags. If I put bags down, these cats never go in the bags, you know, like the um, the paper grocery bags and stuff. When I was growing up, our cats loved bags. Like, they were always in the grocery bags. These cats, not so much. But I figured, because it smells so much like catnip, Stella might like it. But look, they never go all the way in a bag. Oh, here comes Simba. Simba got to check it out. I just gave Boo a bag of catnip also. It's like a little shopping bag that reeks of catnip. Oh, he's tearing it apart. I'm filming this through a gate, so.
he's torn that bag up. Like that whole side of that bag is torn up. The cats are playing with the undercover mouse in the other room. Although Stella is still with that bag. <laughs> okay, so Simba was in the bag. Simba was like completely in the bag. So that's the first time I've ever seen any of them get like completely in the bag. That was so funny. So these bags were in like a closet, like an armoire, and I just took them out, emptied them, trying to get organized. The cats did not finish their breakfast. There's still tuna here. What happened? They're getting their favorite food for dinner, so they should eat it all. It's the Nature's Ready Instinct Raw Chicken Bites. Stella's looking at it like she never saw it before. What's going on, guys? Stella and Simba have started to dig in. Splash just woke up from a nap. You could eat.
It is 10.40 p.m. I'm coming downstairs to say goodnight to the cats and to give them some dry food. Look, they ate all of their dinner. I knew they would because they love that food. There's Simba. Hello, Simba. Being a good boy, Simba? Maybe I'll play with them for a little bit. I would really like to get to bed at a decent hour this week. I put about a tablespoon of crunchies on their platter. I put a tablespoon of crunchies in the digger. And I gave Splash some crunchies, which Simba is now stealing. But that's okay. Splash could eat them out of the platter. Okay, guys. Good night, Splash. Good night, Simba. Good night, Stella. I'll see all of you tomorrow. Boo ate all of his dinner also, except for two little bites. And he's going to get some crunchies too, right, Boo? Would you like some crunchies? Boo, would you like some crunchies? Want crunchies? Boo just got about a tablespoon of crunchies. He's so happy when he gets his crunchies. <coughs> so tonight, I realized that Boo understands the word play. Right, Boo? You want to play? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? He just ripped the feather right off of it. Look, there's one less feather on it now. I just gave Boo some wheatgrass, but he doesn't seem to be really interested in it. Maybe he'll eat some. I mean, if Splash ate some, then maybe Boo will eat some. It would be great if he did. Is he gonna eat it or is he just gonna look for toys in it? You know, now that I say this, this would make a perfect Easter egg hunt for cats. You know, hide some little toys in there, some little cat balls. That'd be a great Easter egg hunt. <laughs> Hissing. Stella's hissing. Boo! In your room? In your room? Gonna be a nice boy? He does not have a harness on. Okay, st oh, okay, Simba. Simba just walked into Boo's room. Just flew right in. Just checking it out. Boo's right here. How you doing, Boozy? Yeah, good boy, Boo. Yeah, good boy, Boo. 
good behavior, boo, right? You okay, boo? Still in Splasher right here with the wheatgrass. Pooh's in the kitchen. They're looking at him. There's Boo and Simba. The kitchen's a bit of a mess with boxes because I am uh, in the process of uh, organizing some stuff and throwing some stuff out. Good boy, Boo. There's all three of the cats. There's all the cats with their wheatgrass. Boo, I'm going to reward you with the crunchy because you're on good behavior. Want some crunchies? Okay, we'll go in your room because you're on such good behavior, Boo. Come on, let's go. Good behavior for Boo. So you go in and get a crunchy. Come on. Who's going to get a crunchies? Maybe more than one crunchy. Come on. I just gave them the wheatgrass in the doorway because Splash is still a little bit shy with it. He might eat it if it's over here versus farther in the kitchen. I mean, he's smelling it. That's a good thing. Now, so far, there has been no new cat vomit since I took them off the formula with the pork in it. So I think that's good. We'll see this week. If there's no new cat vomit this week, then we know that's what it was. It was the pork in the raw food. I'm not a fan of raw pork to begin with. Okay, Simba's in the front window right now. He's relaxing in the cat tower. And Pooh's in his room. But Pooh said he wants to come out of his room. So I'm gonna let him out and see what happens. I need to get dressed. I mean, I need to finish getting ready to leave. Boo, can I trust you that you're not going to attack Simba? Can I trust that? Okay, you just missed it and I really wish I had a camera on the door when this happened because it happened so fast. I don't know who struck the first blow. So, Boo was in the living room with me, he was on the rug and I was trying to put cat videos on the TV in the living room for him. And Splash came walking down the hallway and it looked like he was going to go into Boo's room, um, but he just kind of got as far as where Boo is now, like right inside the door. There was no gate on it. Um, Splash was like right here. So then Boo goes walking over to him and Boo looked like it was a friendly walk, so I wasn't concerned, like his tail was up and he didn't look like he was in attack mode or anything. Then he came up to Splash, like Splash was here, Boo was here, and they just smelled noses. And I was like thinking to myself, oh, that's great. They're going to get along. They smell noses. The next thing I know, they are like clawing at each other, and it's a big cat fight, like right here. The kind of cat fight where like fur is flying. And I was like, so right away I yelled and broke it up. And I did not see any biting, but there was a lot of scratching. Like a lot of scratching and a lot of screaming. And uh, it was not good. So Splash ran away. Splash ran away this way. And then Boo um, just kind of stayed in this area and I made him go in his room. So right now he's back in his room. The gates are shut. And... Now that I think about it, because I'm I'm just trying to replay it in my head what actually happened, Boo went up to Splash, and I remember thinking, okay, everything's going to be fine, everything's going to be friendly, and the next thing I knew, Boo, t you know, started the fight. So I could, I would say, I would say with 90% certainty, it was Boo that initiated that fight, and not Splash. Splash is not the kind of cat that initiates fights. So, Pooh's back in his room, and here's Stella checking it out. I know, Stella, you're upset. I know. You're upset, Stella. Did you check on your baby, Splash? Did you check on your baby, Splash? 
I wanted to check on Splash and make sure he's okay, and he appears okay. The problem is, you know, Splash is just coming out of his shell and uh, becoming more confident in the house. And now something like this happens. And Splash wants to be friends with Boo. So it's not nice that Boo is attacking him. See? All three cats, they stick together for each other. Look. See? There's no movement, but now Splash is going to... Splash is going to take a lot of steps back from this. Like, steps back in his progress. Splash, Boo's in his room, okay? The gates are up. Okay, Splash? Boo's in his room and the gates are up. You don't have to worry about him. The gates are up, okay? Okay. I just gave them all about half a tablespoon of crunchies each. One other thing that I forgot to mention about the fight in this doorway was that if I was not here to witness it and break it up, it would have gotten much worse than it was. Like, they were not stopping. If I was not yelling at them to break it up, they would not have broken it up. That would have escalated and continued and it would not have been a good thing for Splash. 10.40 a.m. and Simba and Splash are both sitting on the cat towers in the window watching cats on TV at the same time. This is the Community Cats hour-long kitten play video. Simba and Splash love watching it. Bad boy Boo is sleeping in his cat tower. Simba's trying to play with the toy in the video. It's so funny. Simba. It is 8.03 p.m. and I just got home. Boo's in his room. I'm gonna go feed the other cats. How you doing Simba? How are you? Stella's ready to eat. Who's right there on the other side of the gate? So it looks like Splash is not holding a grudge. And hopefully he's gotten over this morning's fight. Although it did look like one of his back legs might have been like really scratched. I couldn't get a good look at it because he wouldn't let me close to it.
Splash, are you okay? Are you okay, Splash? Did Boo hurt you? I've been petting Splash, but when I try to take the camera out, he kind of runs. Look at that, he didn't run. Boo's upstairs crying like a baby. But if Boo can't behave, you know, he can't be with the other cats if he's going to just keep attacking them. The cats ate all of their breakfast. It is 8.24 p.m. and there is a live stream ending right now. It just ended because I have to feed Boo and he's making all kinds of noise in the other room. And uh, there's about 50 people watching and it's been uh, streaming for seven and a half hours. And I just want to give a shout out to uh, Super Chat. There's a Super Chat by Linda Wittek. It's for $30. It says, I hope this will help with Boo, Stella, Hydrax, Simba, and Sweet Little Splash's food needs. Um, so thank you so much for that super chat, Linda. It will definitely help with their food needs and it is definitely appreciated. Boo is having his dinner in a paper bowl tonight. I'm really thinking of transitioning him to uh, paper dishes because my hands are getting like all beat up from the uh, dry winter air and the cold and uh, doing all these dishes. So, um... Yeah, I don't have any paper plates left, so I'm giving him a little paper bowl. Let's see if he eats it. So tonight, I realized that Boo understands the word play. Right, Boo? You want to play? Boo, would you like to play? Boo, are we going to play? You want to play? So what was going on was when I was editing the video earlier, Boo was laying behind me and he was all zonked out on the sofa and I was talking to him and I was like, okay, Boo, maybe we'll play later. When he heard the word play, he like jumped up and ran onto this rug because this is like the play rug. And he was like waiting and waiting and waiting for me to come play with him. And I was like, oh, I can't do it now. But that's when I realized he understood the word. And uh, so now the video is rendering as we speak. After it renders, then I can uh, upload it and uh, then it processes and then I can post it. So it's a bit of a process. Um, but anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to P-L-A-Y with Boo on this P-L-A-Y rug because he's a very smart cat. Boo, you want to play? They use the scratch and rolls as like stalking chairs. They like sit on the scratch and roll and they stalk.
That scratch and roll has been drifting off of the rug. So this is the Smarty Cat Frisky Flyer Feather Wand Cat Toy. It says it flies like a bird. And this is like one of Boo's favorite toys um, ever since he was outside. When he was outside, um, that's when I first started uh, using one of these with him. And um, so this one will be his third. This one, which only has like one and a half feathers left, was his second one of these and uh, now this will be his third and he hasn't played with one of these in quite a while and I just recently took it back out it says it is part of complete needs interaction it is safe for pets and um, yeah I actually got this on clearance it was like two dollars so I thought that was a great deal so um, I am going to cut it off of the packaging and assemble it and let's see if Boo likes it better Okay, Boo seems to be reinvigorated with this toy. Maybe because there's more feathers on it. Maybe it looks more like a bird with more feathers. He loves that scratcher and all. He doesn't even want to get off of it. He's jumping up and down and he still doesn't want to get off the scratch and roll. Hello, Boo. What are you doing? Boo. Hello, Boo. Simba always lays across the steps and I always have to be like super careful not to step on him. See? Look. I'm trying to walk down the steps and this is what he does. It's about 12, 10 a.m. right now and I just gave them each about a tablespoon of crunchies. There's a tablespoon of crunchies on the platter. There's a tablespoon of crunchies in the digger. And I just gave Splash some crunchies over here. Good night, Splash. Good night, Stella. Good night, Simba. Good night, Boo. Boo's in his room tonight. The other cats are on free roam. They will probably end up hanging out right here at Boo's door. <coughs> Somehow, Simba got Boo's toy out of Boo's room. I don't know how that happened. Simba, how did you do that? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 8.30 a.m. Both Splash and Stella were in the cat towers. And I was just on the phone with someone telling me we got a whole bunch of snow. So I was kind of dreading looking out the window, but I don't see all that much, so I'm kind of happy. Good morning, Stella. Stella jumped on the bed this morning so I could pet her for about 20 or 30 minutes. She got like a pet marathon. Good morning, Simba. How are you, Simba? Good morning, Boo. How are you, Boo? You being a good boy today? This is what the patio looks like, and hopefully this will be all of the snow that we're getting. I'm giving the cats their wheatgrass. I thought they would like roll around in this thing, but they haven't done that, which is kind of interesting. 
I guess they know what it is. They also haven't tried to dig in it or poop in it, which is surprising because I thought they would do that also. It's 9.09 a.m. I was just watching a video on YouTube. I think it was George Sunday eating Frosted Flakes. And I heard cat toy noises in the background. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. His cat must be playing with the toy. But then the video ended and I still heard the cat toy noises. So I said it must be coming from these cats. And it sounded like Boo's toy. So I walked into the hallway and look what I found. There's Boo's toy. But look who's playing with it. Simba. Somehow Simba got Boo's toy out of Boo's room. I don't know how that happened. Simba, how did you do that? Simba, how did you get the toy out of Boo's room? Boo's sitting in the gate. Yes, yeah, Simba, how did you do that? I'm curious. You're a very good hunter. You're such a good hunter, you could get the toy out of Boo's room. It's because you want to play with Boo, right? You want to play with Boo, but he doesn't really know how to play correctly yet. He still needs to learn how to play nicely, right? Boo, would you like your toy back? Look, it fits perfectly through here. I'm going to have to look at the security footage and see if it shows how that ball got through the gate. It would be really funny if, like, Boo actually gave Simba the ball. I don't know how they would get that through the gate. Splashes in the living room with the new feather toy that I unwrapped for Boo last night. Maybe he wants to play with it, but I know if I go in there, he's gonna run. But I'm sure he smells Boo all over it. Boo loves those little balls. If he had a favorite ball, it would be these little tiny balls. I want to know how that ball got out of his room. Sim has decided he wants to sit down next to this undercover mouse. Maybe they want to play with it. I'm just about to feed them. You guys want to play with the undercover mouse? Let me put it on.
Splash just walked in. Is he gonna jump on it? Cats are eating their breakfast. It's the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites. Splash is taking his time to get to his meal. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? Did you have a fun night playing at the gates? Sometimes it looks like his eyes almost glow. Boo has decided that he needs a tummy rub. I just gave him a tummy rub. Boo, you need a tummy rub? Boo, we gotta get the sleepers out of your eyes. Get the sleepers out, Boo. So when I was downstairs and uh, Splash was standing right next to Stella, I realized that Splash is actually a bigger cat than Stella. Splash um, is taller than Stella, and um, otherwise they look pretty much similar dimensions. And um, I'm really curious as to, you know, is Splash the biggest of the cats or is Boo the biggest of the cats? I don't know who's the biggest. I know Sim is the smallest, and I would say Stella is like the second smallest and either Splash or Boo are the biggest. What's going on here, Boo? Boo likes his tummy rub sometimes. Okay, Boo. Is Boo gonna check out the wheatgrass? Is he gonna eat it? You guys just missed it. Boo had decided he wanted to sit in the cat grass. Right here, see the indentation? That's where Boo was sitting. He was like, uh-oh. Is there something in it? Is he looking for something? I hope there's nothing in it. There shouldn't be anything in it. It's been on top of a shelf. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Let's see what happens. I just took that ball from the grassy box and I put it in the real grass. Is he going to get it? Oh, he got it. He would just walk right in and went straight to it. I just cut up a few blades of the wheatgrass and I put it in Boo's food. He should eat that. I added his herbs and I added some water. And that looks like a gourmet meal. It's 1 p.m. and I just gave Hydrox half a can of food and some fresh water. He came out of the heated shelter. He waited for me to go inside. Then he went to eat. It's about 8 p.m. I just got home. I gave Boo his dinner. He's in his room. He's having his raw food. And I'm giving Stella and Simba some cat grass. I went downstairs with their food and they both ran upstairs. And then I was downstairs and they were still upstairs. I'm like, okay, there's a reason why they're upstairs and not coming downstairs to eat. And it's because they wanted their cat grass. See, look, Simba likes to take a little walk in it. Well, are you guys done? Boo's toy is still in there. You guys are done? You want to go eat your food downstairs? 
The cats are getting their typical dinner. Primal raw turkey nuggets, nature's ready instinct raw chicken bites, and some water. They're all ready to eat. They look hungry today. They had some crunchies this morning. <laughs> look at Splash. Okay, guys, we're gonna eat. I gotta put the food down. I can't put it down when you're in my way. Hello, Splashy. Okay, go eat your food, Splash. Go eat. It is 8.03 p.m. and I just fed the downstairs cats and right now there's still a live stream going on. There's 25 people watching the cat beds because none of the cats are in the cat beds. And I want to give a shout out to Cat Lover for the $5 Super Chat donation. It says a little gift with a lot of appreciation. Thank you so much, Cat Lover. That is definitely uh, appreciated and will definitely help go for cat supplies. I also want to give a shout out to Paul Carey for his 25 pound uh, donation today. He donated via Streamlabs and uh, that's really awesome, Paul. Thank you so much. I'm still figuring out the Streamlabs setup and how to get all of the widgets to work properly and it's nice to see that the link is working. So thank you so much for that donation also. this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.